What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the stream. Appreciate y'all being here. Thanks for coming back. Why for the qualifying practice we just watched of Kyle Larson getting the uh, poll for the Toyota Owners 400. But right now, we're here for the NASCAR Xfinity race. The NASCAR Xfinity race well-rested after getting the week. And actually, they, they were off. They were they, actually all three trucks. All of them did last week. I'm sorry. That was the week before. But uh, NASCAR Xfinity Series back again from Coda. The truck race is the one that's getting the rest this weekend. They are off again. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying today's Saturday. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream so far uh, today. And then in the past, we've had a great time. And we've had tons of people, new people. And uh, glad to have you guys here. So uh, we're going to start the coverage here in about 10 minutes. We're going to do the National Anthem, Gentlemen, Start Your Engines, and all of that. We hope that you're in here. I'm supporting my Braves here. I got my Braves. I changed my shirt. Menace didn't like my shirt. So I'm going with my old Daytona 500 shirt here. Uh, Denny's not racing anyways. But uh, tomorrow's schedule, we're going to be doing the owners, the Toyota Owners 400. Uh, we're going to go live at 5.30 Central. Uh, 5.30 Central. The race will start about 6, cent, uh, or 6 Central. So... I hope everybody's having a good day today, and uh, let's listen in. Let's go to the main page as we are here for the Xfinity race. Do some racing, baby. Yes. <laughs> not like on it. TV, though. I not on like TV. It. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing it today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's I did it one and time. It's all good. Go to YouTube. Uh, it was one of my more <laughs> embarrassing moments, and I, I will say this track can embarrass so drivers good. because it's very difficult. Was that a decent transition? That was good. That was good. Uh, you know, they say Virginia is for lovers, and Brad, you love Richmond. I do love that. Richmond. You know, we got the two wins in the Cup Series. Joyce and I both do, and, and I've got four wins here in the Xfinity car. I really like this place. It's pretty good. <laughs> oh, by the way, oh, I have okay. four wins here in the Xfinity <laughs> Series. Yeah, you know. I, uh, uh, but you know what I love? I'm glad it? you don't brag. That's yeah, great. I, you yeah. Know, never. It's, it's, in my spare so time, humble. I'm humble. But you know what I was going to say, and I love about this track is the discipline it requires to drive around here, and these drivers are really going to get tested today uh, because it's the, the sun's out. we got a day race, and you can burn these tires right off this car, Joe, if you drive it too hard. And so this is a big challenge, especially for some of our really young Xfinity drivers because they've never really run into an experience like this before. And I love seeing how young drivers take that challenge at them. Absolutely. This is one of the few tracks where tire fall off is still a thing. This track hasn't been repaved in a long time. Tire fall offs there. And early in the race, that's where it becomes the most challenging because maybe you didn't have the best qualifying effort. You want to move your way towards the front. Well, how do you pass them? Well, you got to use your tire up a little bit. You got to push hard, but you're going to pay the penalty later. And there's not many sets of tires here. You're going to want to stay out there the first two stages. You're not going to waste those sets of tires for the end of this race. So it's a bit of a cat and mouse patience, aggression, all balanced out, really challenging here. What's not to love? Uh, I'm going to steal a line from Larry McReynolds. There will be some comers and goers in today's yeah, race. Now let's go to pit road. Here's Josh. Well, yeah, Adam here with the pole sitter, Parker Retzloff. What does this mean to lead the field to green today for you and this team? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's one of my favorite places. So I think just the fact of that I got the pole and now I'm leading the field to the green and hopefully – you know, can get a good finish in stage one and uh, continue to keep the momentum up all day. So I think it is uh, very beneficial for the team, give them confidence. And uh, just have to thank everyone at Funkaway and everyone at uh, Jordan Anderson Racing, Bob Rito Autosport, that they brought us a car as a fast Xfinity Internet. And uh, hopefully, you know, maybe at the end of the day, we can walk over the trophy. Good luck today, Parker. Shannon? How oh, cool. Thank you so much, Josh. All right, time for a little stump the max. First, we're going to look at the scoreboard. All right, so Parker Retzlaff is on the pole today. Brandon Jones in second. Cole Custer third. Chandler Smith, who's who I went with. Chandler Smith for the win. He got his first victory here last year. Justin Allgaier in fifth. Corey Heim in sixth. A.J. Allmendinger seventh. Jesse Love eighth. Parker Klingerman ninth. Eric Almarola in 20th. No John Hunter Nemechek in that, truck, that car today. Sam Meyer in uh, 11th. SVG in 12th. Sammy Smith in 13th, Riley Herps in 14th, Ryan Sieg in 15th, Austin Hill in 16th, 17th, Jeremy Clements, 18th, Anthony Alfredo, 19th, Brennan Poole. Let's take a look through 20 through the rest of the field. Sheldon Creed in 20th, Jeb Burton in 21st, Ryan Ellis, 22nd, Kyle Weatherman in 23rd, Haley Deegan in 24th, Leland Honeyman in 25th, Josh Williams, 26th, Tyler Gray, 27th. Blaine Perkins, 28th. Josh Balicki, 29th. 
Ron Vargas, 30th. Matt Benedento, also good to see him back in the race in 31st in that 38 Ford. Logan Burden in 32nd. Dawson Cram, the rookie, in 33rd. Kyle Sieg, he's there twice. Ryan Sieg, oh, I'm sorry, Kyle Sieg there in 34th. Patrick Emmerling in 35th. Garrett Smithley in 36th. Bubba Pollard, first time in the junior ride for junior motorsports. Bubba Walt Pollard, I think I love the paint scheme. He was my favorite paint scheme of the week. So I'm taking Bubba Pollard. I like that one, the 88. But I'm taking Chandler Smith to win this thing. Chandler Smith to win this race. And Joey Gase in 38. So who do you guys got to win this race? I picked Chandler Smith in our weekend paint scheme preview. Make sure you're checking that out. And oh, I gotta I gotta get the uh, Xfinity drivers here. One second, uh, Xfinity Series drivers. There's that. Got that going. And then make sure you're checking out our paint scheme and weekend preview that I uh, posted on Friday. Every Friday we post the week paint scheme and weekend preview of the race of that weekend. So we'd love for you to make sure you give that a like and a, a follow. If you're if you're new to us, make sure you subscribe. If you're new to us definitely subscribe because you're going to want to stay right here for nascar coverage we try to bring you all of the nascar content we haven't really missed a race since last week uh last week was our first race we've missed in a while we missed the nascar qualifying we missed the truck series and the xfinity series but uh, we're back here for again for another solid weekend here at the richmond raceway so hope you're having a good time today hope your saturday is great after this i'm going to take the day off my wife's birthday we're gonna go out and have fun and celebrate tonight and have a good time so and then tomorrow we'll be back tomorrow we'll be back for some more content if you like tennessee basketball the tennessee volunteers versus the purdue bowler makers are going to be uh going against each other in the semifinals for the final four tomorrow on the channel and then after that under the lights easter sunday night the toyota owners 400 we're going to bring you a flag to flag coverage and we're going to be live audio, in-car cams, mini mini games, redeems, all that good stuff, and emojis we'll have for you for tomorrow as well. But today, we'll have a couple in-car cameras. Normally, they don't do many in-car cameras for the Xfinity race, but uh, we'll definitely have that. The live audio of the FS1 broadcast, and just our great chat and our community that we have here. So if you guys are just coming in, hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see if we can get over 100 likes. That's our goal. 100 likes as uh, the green flag will be... Uh, festivities here pre-race festivities will be starting here in about three minutes some homework here during the national anthem i want to see usa in the chat usa in the chat during our national anthem and then on uh at lap three when i hold up three fingers like this we're gonna honor dale senior on lap three and it'll happen pretty quick i hope not to forget this time but on lap three we're gonna honor dale senior so thank you guys so much for being here Appreciate it. This is a driver-friendly, fan-friendly chat, so make sure you cheer on your driver. It doesn't matter who they are. We support you in every way. So those are your homework. That's the business. We got it out of the way, and let's have some fun. Ernest says the two is going to win. So let me see who else you got. You got the 98. Karen's got the 98. Uh, Bill's got Al Geyer. Let's see what happens. Keep hitting that like button, y'all, <clears throat> as you're coming in. <laughs> 19 likes. Let's go, Algier. Bill says. <laughs> let's go, Algier. All right, let's go back to it. First NASCAR start of the season, starting 31st. This is his first since Road America, all the way back in 2019. His best finish in Xfinity, ninth at Iowa, driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. Yeah, I bet he's happy to be back. You see right here, Sam Mayer. We talked about it. Junior Motorsport. It's been a tough start to the year. He's going to be 11th today. His Jack best Rich, finish here at Richmond is third. He's got a little he momentum. Had a top 10 of last week at Coda. There's Brandon Jones. Great qualifying effort starting outside the front row. Five career wins, but it has been 63 races since that last win back at Martinsville, wow. April of 2022. Here's Cole Custer. We know that he is going to be a threat today. You see he starts all the way up in third. He's on a roll of three straight top 10s, all at different type racetracks. And he's a past winner here, one back in 2019. Eric Almarola with his kids there on pit road, going to start 10th, has one top 10 at Richmond in six starts. He made his debut in the Xfinity Series 18 years ago 
right there at Richmond. There's more family right there. That's Eric's it. down there with his family. It's what it's all about. Time now for our race picks. Jamie, as always, you're going to go first. first. Yep. So I'm going to go Justin Allgaier. We talked about him a little earlier in the show. He dominated at Phoenix. I like that one. We always seem to put Phoenix and Richmond in the same category. If you run well at one, you should run well at the other. I think I it'd be you, his day, day. Well, Virginia is for lovers, and we've talked about Richmond given a driver their first career win. I'm going to go with a young man we talked Why to not? earlier. His confidence, Jesse Love will get it done in his sixth Xfinity Series Picked it last start. Week. Adam Alexander's ready to say Virginia is for lovers and for Jesse he Love. He said Chevy Bunny. Uh, I know. Bunny. It's, it's good. Check it out on YouTube. Um, <laughs> my pick is Chandler Smith. Not only because, my goodness, what a great He's interview. Your new favorite driver. Yeah, he man. really is. I mean, he had me at I love my boy, boys more than anything. His kids, of course, yes. are there today. Uh, Noble and Chandler Jr. plus his wife Kenzie. So that's who I think is going to get to victory lane. Did it one year ago. I think he backs it up today. How about we head trackside for opening ceremonies at Richmond? All right, here we go, y'all. Have fun. Please rise as you're able and remove your hats and veterans render a hand salute as the Rappahannock Raiders Junior ROTC Color Guard presents our nation's colors. Here to offer today's invocation, please welcome from the 23rd Quartermaster Brigade, United States Army, Fort Greg Adams, Chaplain Robert Halsinger. Please bow your heads with me as you pray in your faith tradition and I pray in mine. Dear God, on this great Easter Eve day, we celebrate what was to come over 2,000 years ago. Just as a full body shaking of the passing cars that is soon to be felt in Chaos Corner, so too the earth shook when your son defeated death. Thank you for the sacrifice so that we may live a life of service and transform what is around us. May the teams that stand before us today work as one and may all leave everything you have gifted them out on the racetrack to your glory. Keep them safe, we pray in your name, amen. Here to perform our national anthem, please welcome from the United States Air Force Heritage of America Band, Technical Sergeant Melissa Lacour. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. It's the first short track race of the Xfinity Series season. It is going down in Richmond. Adam Alexander, Brad Kozlowski, Joey Logano have the call on the other side of the break. Aw, big hugs. Mm. All right. Good national anthem. Thank you guys for the USAs in the chat. Appreciate that. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, y'all. That's the most important part. And subscribe to the channel and having fun. That's our three keys to the game. And you always say when a sports event comes on, what are the keys to the game? Number one, hit the like button. Number two, subscribe. And number three, have fun. So if you guys need to know where your driver is today, I can only show the 19. Maybe I can probably get the 20th uh, driver in there. But if you need to know where your driver is, just say, hey, CeeLo, where's so-and-so? Where's Deegan? Because I'm sure Deegan's going to be asked multiple times today. I'll show where she's running at. Uh, but uh, definitely make sure you guys have fun. Ask questions away. If you want something changed differently, I'm always up for criticism. I'm up for comments. I'm up for anything that helps us enjoy this race together. So please don't feel feel obligated to actually just say something if you need something changed. Or if you can't hear me, if I, if I forget to put mute, if I forget to unmute my mic, say, I can't hear you. So I can 
I can definitely do that. So, uh, definitely, I'm ready to have some fun today, and uh, let's get it going. Ken, first short track. Of course, they weren't at Bristol, so uh, the truck race was at Bristol, which was a kind of a calm race. I couldn't believe it compared to what the NASCAR Cup Series was. So, this is their first short track. Could we see a lot of cautions today? Let me see. How many cautions do you think it is going to be? How many cautions do you think? <clears throat> I really love her flag. Yeah, it's awesome, Karen. Something new to the channel. Something to bring a little more to the national anthem here on the channel. Uh, how many cautions do you see? All I see is the stale stat page. Do we watch the race? Andy cannot watch the race. Uh, NASCAR will take it down in a heartbeat. So, uh, nope, cannot watch the race. Uh, if you want to follow someone that watches the race, it'll probably take it down pretty quick. But you cannot watch the race. So, uh, but... Happy Easter, every single which one of you. If you do celebrate Easter out there, we do wish you a happy Easter. Tomorrow we'll be bringing you the live audio of the Easter race on Easter. Normally it's not too much of a watch race, so because uh, I know a lot of people are family and all that stuff. So, uh, But we're going to be busy here on the channel trying to bring a race for you guys, for the ones that can watch the race. <clears throat> You're welcome, Andy. You're welcome. But at least five cautions, Karen says. Kathleen says eight. Uh, Kathleen's going with the 16 going digger. I'm going, um, I'm going Chandler Smith. Here we go. Listen. Race is down and we've seen a bit of everything, but now it's time for a new challenge here. There's no margin for error. One wrong move could prove costly. Tempers will be short, but your memory must be shorter. We'll find out who can keep their cool today. The Xfinity Series starts now on FS1. Greetings from the Commonwealth of Virginia, Richmond Raceway, hosting the NASCAR Xfinity Series. It's the first short track race of 2024, the Toyota Care 250. Qualifying earlier today, Parker Retzloff, his first career pole. Can't wait to watch the 20-year-old from Wisconsin go racing. Austin Hill, your championship leader coming in. He's been top five every race so far. And hot on his heels, Chandler Smith, who's second in the standings. He qualified fourth for today's race and won here a season ago. So good to have you with us on this Saturday afternoon with two drivers that have been to victory lane here. They're NASCAR champions, Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski. I'm Adam Alexander. Let's go with those drivers who are off to incredible starts this season. We begin with Austin Hill. Joey, two wins and an average finish so far of 2.4. I mean, he's incredible. I, I said this earlier, you know, Kevin Harvick, we called him the closer. I think Austin Hill is the closer 2.0. This guy has figured out how to finish races even if he's running in the back half of the top so 10, different by the end of the race, he's in position to win the race. Oh, he's boards. done a tremendous job at figuring out how to manage the races. Uh, and because of that, show the race. he's up there every single finish. We saw it happen last week. He's got some work cut out for him today because he starts in the 16th position. Now we go to Chandler Smith. He changed teams in the offseason, but his momentum has been incredible. Already won this year at Phoenix, Brad. Yeah, you got to think Chandler Smith's coming into Richmond, and he's a lover. He's a Richmond lover. I'm going to tell you that. Got two wins here. <laughs> Truck Series, Xfinity Series, and he's coming back as the defending winner. And I got to think, he might be the favorite for the race day. And you look at these two stats, Adam, these two guys, they are leaders of the pack. Look at the average finish. I, I said it for Austin Hill, 2.4. For Chandler Smith, 3.8. One of the key components always when you come to Richmond, getting control of this race. That oh, means you have on to be SVG. good on the initial starts and in, in the restarts. What do we expect there, Joey? Yeah, and something that can happen here is you might have to refire on older tires. Wheel spin on these restarts is a really big deal as they get up to speed. And then you have a open entry. I call it a very wide entry into turn one where you can go three wide, maybe even four wide if you're crazy. And then it's going to funnel out alpha two to where you can really only be two wide. That's where, where the wrecks normally happen. So it gets pretty crazy. Virginia is for lovers, but based on what you're describing, I think there's going to be some upset, upset drivers when we're done today. Let's go track side. Get the command to fire engines. It's short track racing in the Xfinity series. Richmond Raceway, this is the moment you have all been waiting for. Are you ready to get this NASCAR Xfinity Series Toyota Care 250 started? Here to give the command to fire engines is the proud owner of a 2017 Toyota Tundra and VIP customer of Loyalty Toyota, Dana Reed. Drivers, start your engines! 
Woohoo! Let's go. What's up, Orlando Lion Fan Club? What's up? It's the first of two short track races on well, the schedule. Glad you're here, Orlando, to watch Richmond along with setting us. setting up Martinsville. We're going green when we come back to Richmond. All right, so let's get up some in-car cameras. Let's see if we got any today. We will be showing some in-car cameras as well. There's sometimes the Xfinity series shows in-car cameras. Let's see. How many do we got? We have three. So uh, I guess we're going to watch Haley Deegan. Hey, Haley Deegan, Corey Heim, and Jeff Jeb Burton are the only ones with in-car cameras tonight for NASCAR. So we're going to watch Haley Deegan. Is it? The cars get rolling here. Another commercial. All right, so let's do it here. Let's watch Deegan roll off, huh? Let's watch Deegan roll off. Oh, that's the wrong one. Wrong one. Here we are. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we got to watch Haley Deegan a little bit. So Deegan, three cars. We'll watch Deegan and some other people. So not too many to choose from during the Xfinity race, but in, that, in the Cup Series race, we'll have everybody. But at least we'll get a little perspective to something new on our channel this year. We get to show you the in-car cameras. Uh, they're off the NASCAR website, so it's not a real broadcast. So uh, definitely hanging out. So we're about to roll here. Deegan, she's starting back in. Where's Deegan at? Where are you at, Deegan? The 15. There she is. 24 spot. She's going to roll off 24th. There we go. She'll be rolling off 24th here in a second. <clears throat> Keep on hitting that like button for us and subscribing to the channel, y'all. Justin, what's going on? Appreciate you being here. No, it really hasn't hit any copyright at all. Uh, we've been doing it all season. and We don't show it all the time. It just stay up for a little bit every once in a while. But just a little new, another perspective, another couple like, but it's not the live broadcast. So it's not the broadcast of FS1. Ready for the Toyota Care 250 for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. We pop our Fox weather. Right now it's 71 degrees. Practice this morning at 8.30 and qualifying. Uh, it's, it's off my desktop degrees. audio. No doubt this track has gone laptop. through a major transformation, creating more challenges for these drivers. One driver that seems to always handle it here is Chandler Smith. We go back a couple of years ago, Craftsman Truck Series. He took care of business, dominating this thing and driving away to victory. So his confidence was up. He comes back here last season as a rookie in the Xfinity car, driving for Colleg, wins the stage, leads over 80 laps, holds off John Hunter Nemechek, and gets his first career win. I'm a day he'll never Chandler forget. Smith. Let's dial him up now, starting fourth today, Brad. Chandler Smith, Brad Kislowski here in Avis One Booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. All right, sounding good, looking good. Our FS1 team just did an amazing job showing a video of all your wins in the Truck Series, the Xfinity Series. Clearly, you know, to me at least, you're the favorite to win this race, and you're on a roll this season. What's making you run so fast, buddy? Uh, just the good Lord above, man, blessed me with a. Uh with amazing team, amazing manufacturer that uh, I was with for a very long time. I parted ways last year, but I'm back home now and got all the resources, got all the right people around me, and um, this is the result of that. So looking forward to today for sure. Well, we're looking forward to watching you. Two eyes, I'll be watching you all race. Uh, tell me a little bit more about your actual race car. How was it in practice? What's it going to take to win exactly today? Yeah, honestly, uh, the car wasn't great in practice but i had really good speed so just a little fine tuning here and there to get the balance a little closer to what i'd like and i think there's speed with that um uh, but being there at the end is going to be big here obviously going back and rewatching the race last year there was a lot of cautions there at the very end there's like two or three in a row 
Um, it was a pretty decent pilot, so being there at the end, making sure you manage your race right, keep up with the racetrack, and uh, give yourself a shot at it. Oh, man, that sounds great. We'll all be watching you. Good luck to you. Yep, thank you, Brad. We mentioned that Chandler qualified in the fourth position. Let's get to our starting lineup, the Toyota Care 250 starting grid. Bottom of the screen, Brandon Jones on the front row with Parker Retzloff. Row two, there's Chandler with Cole Custer, who won this race 2019. You got the dinger, Kathleen. I'm here in row three, at Corey Heim, along with Justin Algaier. This is a racetrack that Justin is very strong at. Expect him to be good on the long haul here. I'm looking at next row, row four. Look at these guys. We got Jesse Love. Hey, Virginia's for lovers. Maybe it's for Jesse Love. <laughs> We're going to find out here in a little bit. AJ Allmendinger, always a threat here in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Allmendinger won right, the track now. win. Came a few years ago at Bristol, row five. Parker Kligerman, fresh off a top five finish at Coda alongside Eric Almirola, who made his career debut right here in an Xfinity car, 2006, driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. We'll continue to look at that starting grid in the pylon in a moment. But first, we remind you of some of the new faces you'll see racing today, making their debut. Taylor Gray driving the 19 for JGR, qualified 27th. He's a regular in the truck series. Logan Bearden is here, rolls 32nd. And 37th today for Bubba Pollard, the late model legend, was quick in practice, didn't get it done in qualifying. It'll be fun to watch him drive through the field. Now we hear from our pit reporters, and we start things off with Regan Smith. Hello, Regan. Well, good afternoon, Adam. You mentioned Bubba Pollard. What an opportunity it is for him at 37 years old to make his Xfinity Series debut in a very strong race car, the 88 for Junior Motorsports. He told me earlier, just before he got in the car, qualified didn't go like he wanted, no. But in practice, he was able to figure out exactly what he needed to with the car to be able to correlate how the tires would fall off. So he knew what, ex what to expect as this race plays out. Keep an eye on him. This is a cool situation for him to be out there today. Josh? Well, Shane Van Gisbergen got his first taste of NASCAR beating and banging last week in Austin as he and Austin Hill traded paint in the final laps of that race. Well, afterward, a little frustration from the drivers. They had a chance to talk this week in the sim, and they feel like they're good. They're ready to move past that. So let's do that. In terms of the race here today, SVG told me this is the first time he's had tires fall off as much as they did during that practice session. So keep an eye on how the 97 is able to manage that out here today. Adam? Thank you, Josh. And when the checkered flag went in the air, Van Gisbergen was second last week, but you saw the penalty there drops him back to 27th, which was big because if you factor those points in that he lost, he would be above the cut line after five races. Unfortunately, now some work to do as we move forward. And with that, we've seen a lot of different styles of track. So let's look at a few of the highlights from our standings. As we look forward to race six, Austin Hill leading the way. We said that earlier. Chandler Smith has been solid. Our reigning champ, Cole Custer, third, despite looking for his first win. Jesse Love, the rookie, has been great. Parker Kligerman, a nice surprise. And Anthony Alfredo has been consistent. He's above the cut line. There's SVG in 14th. And Sam Mayer got his first top 10 last week, much needed after recording a DNF in three of the first four races this year. When we look at the standings, Guys highlighted in yellow up there, locked in with their victories. Plus 43 for Love. He continues to manage the early portion of his career quite well. And Riley Herbst, even though they've had some hiccups on track, been involved in accidents, they've done a really nice job of getting stage points that minimizes the damage, and that's why they come into today 42 above that cut line. Our race analysis, 250 laps. Nearly 200 miles here. Stage one, stage two, both 75 laps. That final stage, 100. The fuel window, insignificant. The big thing today, how do you manage those tires? These teams have three sets laying in the pits. Let's get some pep talk pre-race from Corey Himes' team. Yeah, hey, appreciate you guys. So, like, it's really our best opportunity yet uh, between me and this team. So. Appreciate all you guys for your hard work. Make sure we make a good package. Might need to tune on it a little bit, but I'm confident we got a fast car today, so appreciate you all. Corey driving the 26 for Sam Hunt Racing. That's a team that's enjoyed a lot of success right here at Richmond. He's had a strong car, a lot of racetracks, but short tracks, as he said right there, 
this is his best opportunity. Uh, the short tracks, especially at a track like this, it seems to kind of wash out some of the disadvantages of that, that a smaller team may have, right? Whether it's engine or aerodynamics. Here at Richmond, yeah, it matters, but not so as much as other Lights off on the pace car tracks. still. Lights are still on the pace car. Or one so of those drivers has been outstanding Help racing the in the Craftsman Truck Series. Keep on hitting that like button. Won last week at Circuit of the Americas, was the regular season champion a season ago, and of course made the championship four. Like it be fun to watch him. Trucks make their return this coming Friday at Martinsville. Pacing the field today, the Toyota GR Supra. Pace car got an extra lap today. We're supposed to run one less pace lap. We had an issue on pit road where the eight car would start, uh, which oh, was uh, part happened? of the delay. They got him back going. It looks like he's in a good position now. Eight car, Sammy Smith. Justin Allgaier, two-time winner here, starts fifth today. Proud of the effort, proud of the car we brought here. I'm looking forward to this place, man. I've been, the way this year is going, it's not been for lack of effort. We all know that. And today's a good day to turn that around. Heartbreak hey, Phoenix, fans but in the we know Allgaier is awesome at this style Allgaier. of racing. We'll see if today Here we go. Him Green victory flag. number one of Stage 2024. One. It's 250 laps at this bucket awesome bucket short Let's track. Go Richmond Boys. Raceway, Jones, Ritzloff, front row. Here we Here go, we Green go. Flag. Buggity, buggity, buggity. Let's go, Parker Racing Boys. a good boys. start for Cole Custer with an even better start, trying to get into turn one on him. Trying to get position early on in this run so you can manage your car after that. They're going to race Custer. side by side down the back stretch. Parker's fighting hard. He wants to lead this first lap. Got his first career pole. He's going to burn a little bit of tire up here. You know it. He wants to lead that first lap, Joey. Doesn't pay much to lead the first one. You want to lead the last one, but you also want to get <laughs> control, as I said. Once you get out there and you can manage your car, it's just going to compound as the race, as the run goes. This is a long That's first crazy. run of the race, possibly, for these guys on tires. So you want to make sure you manage it as Cole kind of files into line there. Riley Herbst, his teammate, looking out of line. 98 is Herbst. The 51 was Jeremy Clements. And yeah, the outside lane on the start of this race did not go Parker at all. The, the second place starter, Brandon lead. Jones, is all the way back to fourth, and the whole outside row lost almost two to three spots. Allgaier on the move, looking inside a Custer for second. There's Deegan's car, shot from Deegan's car. We'll ride along with her for a lap. You see, it was so important for Justin right here to to not use up too much tire to make this pass, but hey, if you got the opportunity to get your nose out underneath Cole Custer right here, he's going to try to take it. I don't know what the payback would be, but if you're betting safe money, these two are probably the route yes. you need to go in Vegas. Justin Allgaier, Cole Custer, really good here. Veterans that understand balancing the car over the long haul. Seven in front of the double zero off of turn four. There is a lap. There's great battles with everywhere. Haley Deegan. Here we see uh, Chandler Smith. We have three in the car cameras to today. We'll be showing those throughout the Remember day. Remember, the outside road didn't go very well in the Keep start. Keep that so like button. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. Uh, loss on the initial start. This is our Toyota onboard camera. Corey Heim carrying that today. Six behind Brandon Jones. Got a Toyota right behind him, the veteran Eric Almarola. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what Eric can do here today. This was one of his best tracks, I feel like, in the Cup Series. He's going to be a threat today, for sure, in my mind. Okay, what I heard right there as we ride right along with Corey Heim, I could hear him roll out of the gas pedal. That tells me he's managing his car a lot. He's rolling out. He's not using much brake, managing it through this first stage. I guess 75 laps are going to have to go on this set of tires. He has a long, long yes. ways on a set of tires around Richmond. Here you see Eric Almirola in the 20 Gibbs car. We got a lot of racing back here. Sammy Smith in the eight, Parker Klingerman on the outside. You know, this is when, you know, you're just kind of stacked up. You don't know which lane to pick. If you're Jeremy Clements, you know, the top or the bottom, how do, how do I not get past here? Um, how do I follow through to make the pass if I can? Some great veterans in that mix. Talk about Parker Klingerman, top five last week at Coda. We got Ryan Sieg there, Jeremy Clements, drivers that have been around quite some time and understand how to get it done. But it's the young guy, Sammy Smith, who jumps out to lead that pack. Another teenager up in front of him, the two of Jesse Love. Oh, oh some contact. Yeah, AJ got in there a little bit hot and slid up. And now he's going to get pressured by Sammy Smith. Really easy to do here. When you get into turn three, these cars get really light, get a little free, and you can't turn the wheel to the left. you got to let it go or you're going to wreck yourself. And sometimes when there's someone close to you, you make the contact. 
Here Lap nine Luke already. Oh, we forgot to do it. AJ Let's do him. it. It's a little Let's bit honor harder. Dale Senior right here. Too high. Unbelievable. Always forget. Nice save there. Dale by, uh, Senior Jesse on Love. lap three. We always Jesse honor Love you. Was probably like, hey. Let's see those yeah, threes in the chat. Lay. 200 in here with you. <laughs> Let's see those threes. We're honoring Dale Senior right here. So we're starting to see the pace fall. Lap Fastest three lap to start this race was a 24 flat. The cars are already down to 24.50, so about a half a second slower. That's a long distance on this racetrack, and that's a lot of speed through the center of the corner. And exit, Joey. I tell you, but I've been watching Parker Redfield come off the corner here. He's very low on the exit, keeping his car as straight as he can, taking that lateral out of his head, getting that steering wheel nice and straight before he accelerates. That's going to help manage his tires. See Austin Hill making some moves for the pack next to Jeb Burton. He qualified 16th back there Three in forever. 19th. Right. You mentioned Jeb Burton. Threes, this is the Celsius the onboard camera. Tight racing early at Richmond. Ryan Ellis right in front of him in the 43. Only three of y'all? I mean, it's just it's <laughs> 200 people you know, out here. You're here like, you, just, you feel like at Richmond, you're going so slow. It just feels slow, and you're just sliding around, and just very small uh, movements inside the race car really makes a big difference. So you really are driving on eggshells. There's a three wide, wide. In, the, in the three here. I don't think that's allowed at Richmond, is it? Three <laughs> wide into the corner? Oh, yeah. Three for three. Let's go for it. That's right. These guys are racing really hard right now, Joey. And like you said, they've got to go another 60-some laps on these tires. Woo. If Let's they're take sideways a look at Corey now, to lap 70. Outside lane, paid Corey off Heim for Ryan here. He's riding in he's sixth place. Jeremy Clements. Sam Mayer in the one, racing with Parker Kligerman for 13th. And waiting in the wings, Riley Herbst. There's just action all over this track. This is why I love Richmond, guys. Terrific racing. Coming into today, Parker Retzloff had led 12 laps in his career. Starts on the pole. He's led them Thank all you, so Justin. far this afternoon. 13 out front for the Wisconsin-born driver. All right, commercial break. Thank you guys for tuning in. On the Go at CeeLo is our channel name. We do NASCAR racing. If you're new to us, make sure you're subscribing to the channel for all NASCAR content right here on every Friday, we release a weekend paint scheme and preview of the race that's coming up this weekend. I give you my picks, my favorite paint schemes of the weekend, kind of get us set up for the weekend. And then we'll be covering the NASCAR Xfinity series, the NASCAR truck series and the NASCAR cup series on Sundays. So we would love for you to be here uh, during the weekends with us as we cover all the NASCARs we can. We'll try to do as many as possible Last weekend, we missed the truck race and the Xfinity race. That was our first races we've missed all season, but I had some stuff going on last Saturday. But uh, looking forward to seeing you guys here next week. Uh, next week, we're going to be at Martinsville, and it's the first week that the races won't be on, the NASCAR Cup Series won't be on Fox. So uh, make sure you guys are here. We'll have the live audio of the race on the FS1 for the, uh, I think it's the Xfinity Series, and I don't know if it's all three or not. I'll have to double check on that there. But thanks so much for hanging out with us as you're watching Corey Heim ride around the track. And uh, as we're at a commercial break here. So appreciate y'all hanging out. We also have a live ticker down here. If you guys are interested in baseball and college basketball, I have a live ticker now for you guys. If you're following baseball, since baseball season just kicked off, I thought maybe some of y'all are fa watching your favorite teams plus watching ahead. Oh, but, uh, all right. Here is my response. That's my fa that's my response right there. We've gotten we gotten some this weekend, last weekend too. So it's all good. Um, I hope Deegan has a good solid finish. We'll see. She's back there in 29th. We had her. Uh, we have her and Corey Heim and Jeb Burton as our in car cameras. We'll show Jeb Burton here in just a little bit. But uh, thank you guys for. Hanging out with us today on an Easter weekend. I know a lot of people have a lot of plans, a lot of spring break going on and all that stuff too. So um, we'll see if we can get some more folks in here. Orlando says, uh, whoever is being a knucklehead aren't real NASCAR people. Exactly. Orlando also says, MRN radio is where you can listen to as well as here. Right. Um, MRN, but if someone doesn't have uh, Sirius XM, you can't really, uh, that's cost you. Uh-oh, the 22 Vargas. Caution is out in the Toyota Care 250. Ryan Vargas with an issue driving the 32. 
Something is burning up. Uh, I would say, you know, I'm not a smart man, Joe, but I'd say something broke on that thing. It sounds like the wisdom of a driver that's won here four times. (laughs) Yes. I think we have a replay here. Maybe we'll see what happened. Oh, you see him go in the corner. That thing does not turn. Oh, and you see a fire, fire. in the left yeah. front. Yeah, I think maybe the brakes gave out there. Possibly. Thankfully, he uh, front avoided any contact with the wall, but uh, it doesn't look like that you thing has the fire ability to keep car. moving. Ryan's going to do some racing over Ronnie, in Europe. What's up? Welcome and back, And this man. weekend driving that 32 partnership Favorite between Easter Jordan candy. Anderson Sweet Tarts. and Mike Harmon. Sweet Tarts. <laughs> Lots Jelly bean sweet car. tarts. Something's definitely uh, no. on fire. Hard to tell what Sour it is. Sour Patch Kid sweet tart. Uh, jelly beans. Retzloff has led all 21 laps so far today. Handled the initial so start Bush, pretty well. In, Was able to pull the top spot away from the competition. And once he got out there, he's doing the deal. Yeah, right before we went to break, we saw there was a plate on the nose of his car. So I think he very much welcomed this yellow. Oh, yeah, look at that. Because it appears to have cleared that plate off. And folks at home, this is why we don't litter. We don't want to ruin somebody's day on the racetrack here. (laughs) That's the one downfall of leading races. You're the first to get to the debris and pick it up, right? Vargas out of the car. Caution 22 laps in at Richmond. All righty. So caution out on the track. Thanks for the subscribes, y'all. Appreciate that. As we are 22 laps in on stage one here, 22 laps in, 228 laps. So Parker Rutzflaff still the leader. Justin Allgaier a half a second. Well, when the caution is out, that's what happens. But caution is out. We'll see if we get some pit stops maybe. Possible pit stops. We'll see. But uh, appreciate everybody being here. Gretchen says, I'm new to this channel is this the Xfinity Series race? Trying to find it. Yes, Gretchen. This is the Xfinity Series race. This is the Toyota Care 250 with the logos down there for you guys. Uh, so make sure you guys know who, what race you're watching and what it is. Uh, but that's <laughs> super, that stupid paper plate, I know. <clears throat> is it going to rain tomorrow? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to rain tomorrow. I hope not. Uh, if that that's the case, we won't have a race tomorrow night. But I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be nice and clear. Uh, MRN says there's a fire bottle in every car, even if the track like Hickory or Speedwell. Yep, got to that. Just in case it'll get on fire, take the hat hat off your indoors, buddy. Get with reality. Earth to sea low, local H. Oh, is that what is that what you're supposed to do? Take your hat off. I do apologize. Mm. James says I say we have six cautions, including the stages today. I was saying about six as well, James. I think that's it. I've been wearing a hat every race, and you're the first person to say something, local. Sorry if I offend you. All right, caution on the track. 23 laps in, and Parker Rutzlap is the leader. Oh, James said eight, not six. Okay. Oh, I, I need new glasses. I need new glasses. Then. I need bifocals. I'm getting old. Thank you for... The update, Brownie. Well, the people in the chat have my back. People in the chat have my back. Is that a Braves hat? Leave it on. That's right, Devin. It is. Braves hat. I'm a Braves fan. We did our first Braves stream uh, yesterday. Had a great stream against the Phillies. Uh, We'll do two to three games a week during the week. NASCAR is reserved on the weekends. Unless uh, NASCAR has a Friday night off, we might do a Friday night race, Friday night game on Friday nights. But Braves will be two to three games during the week, NASCAR on the weekends. That's our schedule from here going forward. Unless the Preds make the NHL playoffs, we'll probably pepper in some of those as well. But uh, that is our bread and butter. If we go to Disney sometimes, we stream from Disney as well. So if you like Disney World, Disneyland, all that stuff. Uh, we have some good, cool vlogs on our channel for that, too. And we have a lot of traveling coming up. We got some trips on some cruises and all that stuff, too, this year. So um, looking forward to entertaining y'all on our channel. We have a great time. So look forward to seeing you guys all year. If you subscribe today as we are 10,718, let's see if we get to 10,750 today. That is our goal. 10,750 subscribers is our goal for today. <clears throat> yeah, 
It is going to rain tomorrow. Well, I'll have to check out the I'm Adam weather Alexander. forecast. Here. Parker Retzloff started on pole. He's led them all. And we talk about the significance of tire fall off here. You get a caution. Conventional wisdom says come down pit road, get some fresh tires. Not an option right now for these teams, yeah. for most of them anyway. They want to, but you can't because there's not enough tires. There's only three sets of tires laying. And when you think about the two stages and then the last stage, you're going to want to have a set there. Look at the tire fall off. This is from lap two to lap 18. Oh, the ghost yeah, car it is going to rain tomorrow. That's the beginning of the run. Look at the distance as they come around to turn four. They're going <laughs> to, that's a lot of distance. You're talking eight to 10 car lengths by the time you get to the start finish line. But that sucks. you can't afford to use your set of tires, your set of tires now, uh, not have something to win the race with at the end of the day. So these restarts are going to be nuts. Regan? Well, Joe, you guys Did saw the debris that. that was on Parker Retzlaff's well, car in the 31 there. Ear. Good opportunity that the yellow came out. They had just told him to keep an eye on the temperatures as they were yes, climbing. So no word from the driver that they were too high, though. They were okay in the car when the caution came out. And think about this. He told me earlier to today, as good as he was in uh, qualifying, October, he late. felt like his car was actually better October. on the long runs in the race. He showed that early on so far. Yeah, he definitely did. And we talked about how good of a job he was doing, it was just straightening out his exit and managing his tires and all that. But I tell you what, this restart is about to be a pedal fest, as I call it, off of turn four to Old take the green flag. <laughs> oh, good luck hooking these bad boys up. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to struggle to find launch in the Geico restart zone. And then you're going to get down to turn one and two, and this thing's not going to want to turn at all. Uh, and that's no. what makes this such a go. challenge for, for all of these drivers. Here they're we go. The back yard, Jackson, buggity, 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 buggity. Let's and I can't go wait to see what happens here, guys. Yeah, look for cars to be washing up in the turn one here. A lot of experienced drivers around Retzloff. Allgaier to his outside. Cole Custer behind him. Brandon Jones is there. Pretty good jump for Retzloff, but here comes Cole Custer down low. Says 54% chance of rain. Guys, right. where he was able to get through the gears just a little bit faster, get that drive and get underneath. Oh. Three wide on the back. Close to contact if there wasn't there. Justin Algar is going to come out ahead of this whole thing here. What a good start for Justin. Just free roll in the top. Nice. Retzloff worrying about Custer down low. Algar drives to the outside and says, I will take the lead. Thank you very much. And Corey Hyman, the 26, and a great start as well. Same thing, just kind of rolling that top a little bit. Parker's not firing off as fast as he wanted to on the bottom there, and it just looks like he's stacking up the, the field behind him, and the top's rolling. Corey Heim's going to clear himself What's down up, there. Here comes What's Cole going Custer on? moving Carlos up. with a K. And Eric Almirola, a part of that mix. Good to see you. Here's the contact down the Rowdy, back straight away. Rowdy, if it rains out tomorrow, you pick the there right driver. Was. I don't think Cole Custer did that they were three wide right there. And he, he wanted that You're little bit of room to kind of blend up and... Uh, Parker was trying to leave a little bit of room for AJ or um, Justin Algar here. Yeah, and he was, it would probably have been pretty clear. <laughs> he went close to clear if he throttled up and got out of there. And I think Cole was kind of counting on that. Just racing. You see the same thing here. Brandon Jones, now he's rolling the top side of Parker uh, Red Slap. His, his car is well with fired you. off the same as it was when it was out front here. And Dropping the Algar. You see everyone's kind of taking advantage of the that. The leader. Um, I forgot we had an emoji for that. Good job, hey, man. You can't take away from Parker Retzloff, though. You know, him and Jordan Anderson, they paired together here over the last few years, and they get so much out of their equipment. Of course, don't have the budget some of the big one, teams have, like show. leading a lot of the race, sitting on the over pole. Over 200 in here. We should have 100 likes this just like that. This is almost a, a statement race for them. Uh, but they, they're just fighting as hard as he can to, to try to keep it Halfway out there. Halfway there. Even if he doesn't, you got to say that he's leaving a mark here. Josh, what about Brandon Jones? Yeah, Brandon Jones was really excited about the car heading into this race with what they showed in practice Incarnation, and qualifying. Patrick, what's Felt up? they could really control this race, but coming over the radio just a little while ago, he said he's fighting a really loose car. He said it's too loose for him to make the moves he wants. Pretty good in one and two, but three and four have been a bit of a battle for the nine team. The car I'm looking at right now is Eric Almarola in the 20. That thing looks hooked up pretty well, and I am not surprised. This is Eric Almarola's maybe one of two of his best racetracks. Richmond and Loudon just says Eric Amarola all over it all the time, especially on the long haul. And you're starting to see that show up in the Xfinity Series right now. And if you go back to practice earlier today, 30 lap average 
Eric Almirola, the best of the bunch. That's what you want. Be good on the long haul here. We've talked about it. He's a veteran. He understands how to take care of his equipment. We mentioned earlier the fact that he began his career with Joe Gibbs Racing right here at Richmond. 2006. Running a part-time schedule, and so far, so good. Yeah, Cole Custer seen him making a little bit of time up there in the second lane. He moved up there to see if he could find a little bit of speed. Playing a little defense on Eric. Here we see Parker still, you know, struggling on this refire. And these cars are just moving, moving up Austin and trying to Hill. get air to, to roll his outside. Yeah, for some reason, the, the second lane here of the last, uh, well, since the restart has looked really good, Joey. These Xfinity cars seem to really like it up there. Yeah, Eric's that being like patient. Button, you can trying to get the 100 see, likes. he's doing a good job of getting to the bottom pack of next goal, 100. On Cole he's probably going to turn underneath him here. Yep. Ooh. These are old teammates. Eric was driving at Stuart Haas, so they've shared Eric plenty Amarola of time together. Custer 20 inside of the double zero. Move Al Marola up to third in the running order. I like what I saw out of Eric's car right there. He's able to get into turn three pretty hard in the bottom lane, didn't get loose, and had a nice, great exit off the bottom of turn four. That's usually a sign of a car that's got great speed and a driver that's very disciplined. Yeah, I think he's solid right now. Look for him to drive to the front. And this is the race for 11th on back. Mayer is there. Almendinger, Austin Hill, Austin Justin Allgaier leading this race. Mood. He's led 11 laps today, over 500 in his career at Richmond. We're halfway through the opening stage. All right, so let's take a look at Jeb Burton's in-car camera. Jeb Burton back in 20th spot, just in the top 20. Can't see him because of the ticker. But let's take a look at Jeb Burton's in-car camera. Running back there in 20th place, trying to get a move on Kyle Weatherman in 19th. But there is Jeb Burton. Hey, guys, where's Bubba Pollard? He is Bubba Pollard in that 88 car. Where is he at? 88. He's up to 25th. He started dead last, and he's in 25th spot, so he's moving on up. 40 laps complete, y'all. Appreciate all the love today. Deegan in 31st, just in case anybody's looking, since I have it up here. Deegan there in 31st. But anytime, any guys need to know where your driver is, let me know. I can always pull it up here for you. <clears throat> and behind Jeb is, yeah, Matt, who I didn't know was going to be in the race, to be honest. I didn't either until I saw him on the TV. And I read to y'all the... Uh, thing there but this is jeb burton in 20th svg there in 18th uh he has a hashtag by his name because he's a rookie and there's nobody there in richmond nobody it's easter weekend too it's like that's probably why we're kind of low on our totals today too but thank you guys for tuning in here today on the go at CeeLo. 88 nation Loyal Junior Motorsports, baby. You're junior fans out there. If you're a motor junior motorsports fan out here in the chat, let me see. Let me see Junior in the chat. JR, if you are a junior motorsports fan in the chat, let me see those JRs in the chats. And a yellow. Oh. Must have just happened. Yellow. Another caution. Of course, it happened under the green, uh, under the commercial. Happened under the commercial, so. <laughs> I love this standing desk. I can get up and stand if I want. Who did it? I don't know. We're about to find out. About to come back from uh, the uh, commercial here. Caution is out at Richmond. Brandon Jones had a good start to the day, running inside the top ten. Let's go back and see what happened. Contact with a couple of drivers involved, actually. Thank you for that subscribe. It's a little nudge here off of Thank turn you, four. Thank you, Mark Atterbury. Appreciate it. You see him down into turn one. Oh, it looks front. like something broke. Maybe. Uh, man, you, gosh. 
Oh, you hit the wall. There's something there's coming out. Coming yeah, there's out something there. coming there's out underneath that car. And the car's yeah. behind him, Rex, so that would make sense why that might have happened. Oh, yeah, we can see a lot of fluid on the track now. Yeah, it looks like some yeah, like brakes in the left front. came off or something. Looks like, doesn't it look like it? Yes, I mean, that's it not smoke. That's fluid coming out from underneath the, the left front wheel of this car. I mentioned a couple of drivers involved, and we'll see who else slides into the picture. Oh, you see the cars behind uh, yeah, him spinning yeah. into oil? 39 is Ryan Sieg. He was the one that we saw spinning. Jones is out of the car. Boy, he had had yeah. such a good start to the year last couple of weeks. Some bobbles that will so hurt them, Jones. no doubt. And Prior to that, we had a great battle for the lead as Allgaier's trying to hold off Corey Heim, and the 26 is really good early. Yeah, Corey Heim did a textbook job getting a run up there in the second lane, crossing over Allgaier. Boom, clears him into one. Corey Heim, Justin the leader. Really fight that too much. Knew it was a long ways to go, but great pass by Corey Heim right there. Should have had him on the in car camera. That's how it's done. Nice job, Corey. It was a great pass. Clean, too. Did get a report. It was a motor issue on the nine of Brandon Jones. You're welcome, Karen. Try Let's to bring listen to their the radio. We don't leave it up long. No, I think it's the motor's locked up. Bad vibration. It's blowing smoke everywhere. But I can bring it to you, but it's definitely the motion. Now there's fire blowing out of it. Yeah, you don't usually see a lot of engine failures here at Richmond. It's interesting. These short tracks generally are, are actually a little easier on the engine. You, you might run them to high RPM, up. but That's right, Mark. the loading, especially at Richmond, is a lot less than most tracks. But what you do see quite often is with the, the NASCAR Danny seal Gimlin rule, fan. we have What's to use up, engines bro? over and over again. A lot of teams will use uh, engines that have a, a lot yeah, of miles on them, a lot of laps on them at Richmond. So they'll reuse an engine here. And, I hate to speculate on what happened, but uh, up. just not normal to see engine issues at Richmond, Joey. No. Definitely. Top break for Brandon Jones. Second caution of the day. 29 to go, stage one. Engine problem for Brandon Jones and Ryan C caught up as well. He was on fire. He was on fire. Let's go to the Heim car. Um, that one's... Uh, He's in first place, so we will go to Corey Heim here in first place. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> All right, let's look. Usually show the in-car cameras also during the commercial, the caution so too well. So a little, well, you can see how empty it is there at Richmond. Not many people there. I don't know what's up with the in-car camera. There it goes. Richmond is very empty today for the Xfinity race. Uh, even in Bristol during Easter weekend, it wasn't that fun either. So uh, it's, it's, the, it's an Easter holiday. So a lot of people are off and spring break and all that stuff too. So, uh, But Corey Heim in the lead, Justin Allgaier in second, Eric Almarola in third, Cole Custer in fourth, and then Chandler Smith in fifth. He's my pick to win this thing today. Uh, pretty good pick, if you ask me. Hey, are you showing the cup cars and the Xfinity Series cars? Yes, I am going to show uh, the Xfinity Series as well. I mean, the cup cars as well on Sunday if we race. I just found out about the rain. But it says not as much rain at night, so I think we might be able to get it in. Uh, since it's a night race, Richmond has lights, so we could probably run pretty far. But uh, this is Corey Himes' car. Looking back at Justin Allgaier in second place. As we are under caution, so. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting on the commercial to come back. But thanks, you guys, so much for the likes. Let's see if we're close to our 100 mark yet. We're close yet. We're at 60. So 240 of us here. If 40, 40 of us can hit the like button, get us to over 100, and we'll move there. But our goal right now is 100 likes. Help us get that. And we'll move on from there. Bronny says he's talking about the paint scheme preview under you. Oh yeah, the, these no, this is the um, this is the Xfinity cars right here. The Xfinity cars are right here. Yeah, so I change them up each time. You know what? No, that's not. That's that is 
Not the Xfinity cars. That's the Cups cars. Thanks for the good. Is that the Cup cars? Which one is this? Richmond Cup. Yeah, that's that's the Xfinity Cup. No, it's not. Oh man. Okay, one second. One second. Let's let's delete this here. One second. I'll get those right quick here. One second. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting me know. I was trying to do all this in a hurry. Nope. And we got pit stops here. This race track, his home track. Nope, no pit stops. At some point here, we're going to be talking about that winning race for Sam mm -hmm. Hunt Racing. What would it mean to have it come at your home track? It'd mean everything. We finished third there two years ago, and that alone was one of the most special days of my life. So to, to have it happen at Richmond would be special for sure. We know that day will come, whether it's Richmond or, or anywhere else. Sam was a racer. He said, I figured out when Kyle Larson cut a tire and passed me in a K&N race that I probably shouldn't be a driver. Maybe I should get in to the ownership side of things, developed a relationship with J.D. Gibbs. J.D. said, you need to go to college. Sam did, VCU, right here in Richmond, Virginia, and has done a great job of building this program. A.J. Allmendinger, 11th under caution. Listen in. I mean, I'm just free-falling right now. It's miserable to drive, but I got you. I'm afraid of getting wrecked, honestly. I mean, I'm, I'm always going to fight for you, bud, but this is just awful how slow we are. All right, let's, let's pit. Here you go. Fixed. Whoa. That's an option. Yeah, pit, pit road's still closed at the moment, so we, we haven't had the opportunity to see if they're going to do that. But you see right there, 26 laps to go yeah, in the stage. I appreciate stage. you uh, looking out. That's, Thank uh, you for letting me know. Boy, I so much you're going to go back green, let's say figure, maybe 22-ish, 20 to 22 laps to go in the stage. What do you do at the end of the stage? That's the question. Yeah. Are you going to stay out with 20 laps on your tires for another 75-lap stage after that? We I don't know. I mean, we've had a lot of green flag laps, but I, I would say you could take this set of, of scuffs maybe and reintroduce the them to the equation later as Lane Perkins has come to a stop in the 29. What happened there? He's going to put a push track to him get him. Like, I, I count on y'all to let me know if, no if uh, I'm on mute or huh. something's wrong. I count on y'all to help me out. Kind of odd. Happen under caution. So, I, mean, I think if you, What's up, man? if you do pit here, you got yourself in a good position to try to go up there and win the stage, he, possibly, and get some stage the points. You, just, the, you throw away a shot at the race. Brownie. The yep. price is expensive. We mentioned the new faces in today's race. The headliners, Bubba Pollard, the late model legend, and Taylor Gray, who's a series regular in the Craftsman Truck Series. Didn't have great qualifying runs, but right now, 21st, 24th. Let's get to know them just a bit better. Hi, my name is Taylor Gray. I'm 19 years old. I was born in 2005. I'm from Artesia, New Mexico. Bo Pollard, 37 years old, 1987, from Sonoma, Georgia. Yeah, it was around um, probably 2015. Um, I was uh, obviously a little guy. <laughs> yeah, so I've, I pretty much grew up racing. I've been around it my whole life. Kind of as time went on, got more serious about it and uh, ended up making it into a career. My granddad built a racetrack, a uh, dirt track back then, but we've been racing now for almost 30 years, so uh, it's been a big, big part of What's our up, family. Trey? Nothing screams NASCAR like the story of these two drivers making their Xfinity debut. One's 37, one's 19. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it's pretty neat. And, and what Dale Jr. has done with Bubba Pollard here, Bubba is an incredible late model racer that is very tough to beat. I, I, shoot, I remember racing him when I was racing late models years and years ago. To see him get the opportunity here is cool. It's just hard to yeah, he be was able to, to learn in a short amount of practice that you have in the Xfinity Series. Pit Road's open here. See if we have any takers. Oh, we're going to have a few. Looks like A.J. Allmendinger. A.J. said he was planning Clements. to come. And Jeremy, he will. Yep, Jeremy yep. Clements. So some drivers getting out of balance on strategy. Looks like Shane Van Gisbergen also going to make a stop here. Josh, 
Well, Adam, you heard the frustration from A.J. Allmendinger over the radio. A lot of things to battle for him. He said the car is on the splitter. He's lacking overall grip, and he needs more drive off. The team told him to come down and pit. They got to make something happen to help their driver out. They're going to make a bunch of changes, add a packer, add a couple of rounds to the left rear to see if they can help him out, guys. So no tires on these cars. It's interesting. They're just going to give up the track position to, to be able to make a few adjustments on them. Uh, so they're not going to come ripping through the field like we thought they were, Joey. No, that's what I thought, man. Putting tires on here with just 20 laps to go or so, I, did, I didn't get it. So making an adjustment, I, I still don't know if I agree with that. Brennan Poole, Kyle Sieg, other drivers that elect to come down under caution. Brandon Jones had an engine issue. He goes for a ride. Ryan Sieg involved. We'll go green when we come back. All right. So another green going to be coming back. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Y'all are trying to get to 100 likes. We're 25 away from 100 likes on the channel. Appreciate y'all all the love today. Thanks to the new subscribers as we're on our goal of 11K. It seems like we just did 10K last month. We're almost at 11K. So we've had a really good month of March. Uh, amazing month of March with racing and college basketball and uh, now starting up some Atlanta Braves baseball. And NHL playoffs are right around the corner. Hopefully my Atlanta, as you see when someone subscribes, you see Nash doing his little thing. I am also a Nashville Predator hockey fan, so uh, we'll try to do some Nashville Predator playoff action, first round action on the channel as well. So really busy time for us. This time in March, spring is always fun for us because we have so many sports uh, together. But uh, I'm here to bring it all to you guys, and it's a lot of work. But I enjoy doing it and uh, love growing the channel. And that's what we're here to do is grow the channel. We're almost at 11K. So keep on hitting that like button. Let's see if we can get a bunch more folks in here tonight to watch the uh, race with us. And if you have any questions, just ask. What is S SVG's racing background? Antonio, I believe he's a um, road course, big time ro road course runner overseas. I don't know much after that. Doug says, what's going on? Hello, what's going on? Hey, your picks, Antonio says the 81. Me too. And Little Jack now picks Cole Custer. He's all over the place. Little Jack's all over the place. We also have a Discord, y'all, if you ever like to join our Discord. Uh, need some work. We're going to be showing some Braves games in the Discord uh, when I can't stream them. If you guys are interested, if you can't watch Atlanta Braves baseball, um, let me post the link to our Discord, and you'll always get an alert for it when we uh, do do that. It's a personal chat in there and everything, and it's called uh, Atlanta Braves Live, but it's it's never open until the, the day of the, of the game. But let me uh, post the invite for that. And here it is. Back to the audio here. Laps for the first time in his Xfinity Series career. So good when it comes to the Craftsman Truck Series. And last Saturday, getting his first win of 2024, putting himself in the playoffs. It was career victory number six. You talk Haley's about young drivers that have a chance to go all the way to the top. He really checks all the She's boxes. She's in 25th. Absolutely did a tremendous job. Spot. Last week in that truck race, you know, there is a, a lot of heat being put on him there by a couple other drivers, and he did a good job managing that race where there's no marks on his truck and ran really well. And Thank afterwards, he said it's, it's Heim time, and right now it's Regan time, Regan Smith on pit road. Well, Adam, he's having a good time in the car right now as well. A lot of guys complaining about different handling issues. Corey Heim telling his team he's just a little bit tight initial throttle and exit, but does not mind that. And keep an eye also, Sam Hunt Racing, they've yeah, got he's over doing 400 Xfinity people, and he's friends, doing the family, and college buddies that are in series. the stands today. If he can keep that up front all day, what a party it'll be at the end of this race. That's what I was going <laughs> to say. If the frat brothers are here, we're going to party all night long if we get the victory lane. And it's one of the cool things about Sam Hunt Racing. A young owner... Right, Jordan Anderson, same thing. You don't typically see that in our sport Maybe very often. Oh, Pretty cool so to see him successful. Saw so Blaine Perkins in the garage after they had worse. installed under caution. Guys, I can't wait for this restart. The last restart, Justin Algar was running second and outside the lane. He took the lead against Parker Retzlaff. Can he do that again here against Corey Heim? I'm going to be 19 to go on the stage to watch green, Eric green. Almirola, who's up Look there it, as well. It, it. Another really strong launch, Joey. And Joe <laughs> Cole Custer right back to the bottom again. Not going to be able to get underneath him this time. No, he does like that move a lot. 
And don't forget about Eric Amarola right back there in the outside of the second lane. We know he was really strong comes the end of this run, but Justin Allgaier going to get cleared almost into three. Wow. Cleared that, almost. Is that good? <laughs> That's why I'm not a spotter. That will work on the yeah. spotter, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> but Corey Himes fighting back here into turn one, guys. He's still there. And Eric's looking for any opportunity to where he can cross and get break the plane of either one of them to try to get to second. I love this view. There's no saving tires here, guys. There's only 18 laps to go in the stage. Battle for you the know, lead use what here. You got. Al We're Geyer to hang high. out. This is where you get the reward for saving your tires so long. You get to race hard right now. NASCAR How must have known the change on these tires the after a heat league, cycle huh? as we nearly have some contact for the top spot. Yeah, you're definitely going to lose that rear grip, and that rear grip can kind of manifest itself two ways. It's either uh, lateral control of the car to keep you from spinning out or longitudinal control of the car to, to give you that forward bite or drive out of the hole uh, after you got done slowing down for the corner. Justin Allgaier now leads. That's not surprising. So Brad Allgaier talking to the lead longitudinal down. control was seven. something we didn't expect in the broadcast. <laughs> Chad, if you're an Allgaier fan. <laughs> you Al asked, I answered that way. <laughs> Al Marola now to the outside uh, lane, races, trying to get uh, second away too, from his Jacob. Toyota teammate. Yeah, he Taylor was Gray waiting for those two cars to get well. single file so he can make a move. So car he capitalized uh, as soon as he saw that door open up on the outside to roll it. Hey, let's give some love to Riley Herbst, who's come from 14th to the start to the top five, right behind his teammate. That's that something I like seeing right there from the in-car camera of Corey Hunt. Those two cars to in front of him going to the corner, there, back in, sliding. They are drifting these cars down into the corner, trying to maintain control as they're running down each other for the lead. It's pretty fun to watch. That second lane just keeps winning all the battles right now, Joey. It's looking really strong. Martinsville. Two good young drivers here, Chandler track. Smith, Sam Mayer. Mayer's had a nice day so far. Either, he didn't it was Coda qualify great, but he's uh, hanging around, hanging Watkins around, and in Glenn. position to get stage points, which he desperately needs. Hey, you bring up, Brad, how that second lane is so strong. I agree, when they're too wide. How, but as soon as they get back single file, Watkins it seems like the fastest Coda, lane is still uh, back down on the bottom. On the bottom. Austin Hill has worked his way up to the top Where's 10. Where's the 81? And the pole sitter, Parker Retzloff, right in front of him. He's in sixth place. Sammy Smith is sixth there, so is Parker Kligerman. For Chandler Smith. Still got a great battle for the lead here. Eric Almore is, Almore is right there on Justin Allgaier. He's going to try to make the pass on the bottom. Not enough drive up off of turn four here, but he's keeping Justin Allgaier in check. I think what Justin knows is, hey, if he gets to my outside, it's game over. So I'm going to give him the bottom and play that as defense. So it's going to be tough for Eric to make this pass and finish it on the bottom. I think Justin knows he's going to get beat either way, at least as far as he's going to drive away from him at this point. So yes. his best defense is making sure he doesn't give up the top. And they're getting racy, and Heim's not going away. Don't count him out in third with 11 to go in the stage. Now he was pretty fast. Obviously, he took the lead there Ooh. right before we went to yellow, but not as fast as Eric was. Eric was just screaming fast. Yeah, Eric just shipped it down in the turn one and, and slid up a little bit, just enough to clear him right there. I tell you, that 20, we said it a few laps ago. It's a rocket ship right now. Almirola leads. Teammates for fourth. Herbst and Custer going back and forth. Herbst is going to clear him on the bottom. I saw uh, Cole Custer just wiggle a little bit with the back there on exit, Joey. That tells me he's just starting to lose a little bit more rear grip here at the end of this run. I think they're all wiggling at this point. That's 66 yeah, laps cars. on their, <laughs> their tires. That is a long, long, long time. Doug, what's going on? Ten to go in the stage, now nine as they Doug cross says, the start-finish line. Says, we have one car in that last tomorrow, pit cycle right? who put tires on, uh, Brendan Poole, and he's all the, the way up to eight. And the way off, he's going so. right now with nine laps to go, we'll that's not going to be where he ends. He's going to keep passing cars. He is so much faster than everybody right now. We're talking over a half a second a lap right now. He had really had a really Parker good car Clearman, anyway. Top then you 10. add the tires to the equation and... That's why he's putting up the lap times he is right now. And the play there is just to try to get stage points. Uh, it's going to cost him later. Fan. But right now it's like, man, if I could just get some stage points and make it worth it, then that's, that's your play. And there you see right there in that blue and white car right behind this group. Time's running out, though. Only eight laps to go. What I'm looking at is he's three and a half seconds back with eight laps to go, and he's a half a second 
faster lap. So using my math, that means if he can get past these cars really fast, he's got a chance even to win the stage. He's got to really get by these cars fast. Coming off his best finish of the year last week at Coda. Top 15 for Brennan Poole, and he's going after the reigning champ Cole Custer for seventh. He's got it. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch him try to get there. I don't know if he's going to get there in time because, you know, anytime these cars start racing like that in front oh, of him. Oh, he didn't need that. Yeah, he didn't need him to be side by side in front of him. It's going to cost him lap time. We call that traffic friction. I don't know if that's a technical term or not, but meaning that you can't run as fast as you would if you had just clean racetrack in front of you because he's got to get through to all these stage cars. One, y'all. Almirola starting to pull away. He's got a one-second advantage over Justin Allgaier, Corey Heim, Almost a second and a half back in third. Five to go, stage one. Nobody's having more fun than Brennan Poole right now. <laughs> oh, he's having a blast, but he's, he's not going to get there in time, I don't believe. Into the top five for Poole. And you see the difference in speed. 108 last time around compared to a 107 for our leader, Almirola, on those older tires. Brendan Poole is coming, bro. Some more side-by-side -side racing. Riley Herbst trying to get by Corey Heim right now. Tremendous run late in the stage for Riley it's all Herbst. Good, Steven. Everybody has Corey their Heim opinion. just barely to the outside of Algaier. Yeah, that's what we talked about, that defensive play that Algaier was running before. He that's opened up the outside done. there. Uh, Corey totally Heim take it. advantage. Oh, look who's coming now. Brendan Poole. He's going to get them both right here, guys. Two for wow. one. Poole to the outside. Gets Herbst. And all guyer, he is now third. Now that third that place. makes up for where he was <laughs> yes. being held up before. He gets a, a gift right there. Where he's now able he's to get two of them high. without really costing him much speed. It looks like he might be able to get the second. I'm not sure he can get to this stage win with uh, two and a half laps to go. Took the tires. He's going to pass like 30 cars since the restart. A little <laughs> bump, a little run. Brennan Pool up to second now. Wow. Two to go, stage one. Second and a half in two laps. That's, that's, that's going to be a lot for him to get, but get four tires. I'm going to bite my tongue here because he might be able to do it. I, <laughs> I don't think so. 29 Plus positions. 29 since the restart for Brennan Poole. Good race for fourth. Teammates, they had a couple of moments last week at Coda, Mayer and Allgaier. Three we see a number of times at these junior motorsports cars where the teammates have a lot of words for each other and a little bit of contact, too. Final lap of the stage. Eric Almirola going to finish it off in front of Brennan Poole. Really good run for the 44. Congratulations, Eric Almirola. The veteran going to get his second career stage win in the Xfinity Series. Eric Almirola takes the first 75 lap stint of the race. And they're racing for points. Final spot in the top 10. Sammy Smith going at it with Parker Kligerman. Best stage finish for Brennan Poole in his career. And give a call to Bubba Pollard coming from the back. He ran it inside the top 15 at the end of stage one. Eric Almirola in charge at Richmond. All right, Eric Almirola. Thought he was supposed to retire. Some guys just don't know when to give it up, right? All right, Eric Almirola in first. Brennan Poole passed 29 cars with four fresh tires. And, uh, yeah, Brendan Poole, man, just came out of nowhere with four fresh tires. Everybody else with some dead tires. Uh, way to turn your race around, though. Corey Heim in third. Justin Allgaier in fourth. Sam Meyer in fifth. Riley Herbst in sixth. Chandler Smith in seventh. Cole Custer, a Taylor Gray uh, in the Xfinity Series today in ninth. Sammy Smith in tenth. And that is your top ten. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday afternoon. Happy Easter weekend to each and every single one of you guys. Make sure you're hitting that like button. We're 12 away from 100. We'd love to get 100 likes here on the stream pretty quick. And we'll move on to there. But that is our goal, 100 likes. Keep hitting that subscribe as well. Trying to get to 10,725. That is our goal for our subscriber count. We're trying to reach 11K. That's our goal, 11K. So, uh, I was going to say... It was 10K in May or 11K in May. I don't know what it was, but we're trying to get to 11K. That's our next major milestone here on our channel. Uh, and we have a lot coming on here pretty soon. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing Tennessee basketball versus the Purdue Boilermakers, a rematch of the Maui Classic. And also, tomorrow, we'll be bringing you the live coverage if it doesn't rain, which 
Thank you guys in the chat for letting me know that it was going to rain. Uh, we're going to be bringing the live coverage of the Toyota Owners 400. And if it does rain, we'll bring you the live coverage on Monday of, it, of the coverage. So uh, it'll be audio only, though. You'll just hear the audio. You'll have all this set up here. Just not my pretty face talking. It'll just be um, audio only. So I heard that SVG is driving Las Vegas in the fall. I don't know about that. I haven't heard about that. But possibly. You wish Denny drove a Ford? He says, let's go Purdue, Antonio says. So pit stops are going to be coming up here. I wonder if Brennan Poole comes in. He just changed his tires just a little bit ago. But uh, let's go back to the audio. Pit stop coming up. Easter Sunday on Fox. We had a whole lot going on to end stage one. Almirola wins. The great rally for Brennan Poole. Heim had a nice finish. What about his truck teammate, Taylor Gray, who didn't qualify great, making his debut. He gets it into the top ten. Now pit stops, Regan. At America, Almirola in the 20 car. Very quick awesome that first run of the race. Still not perfect with the car, though. Needs an adjustment. A little bit tight. Rolling the center. Wants help with that. The 26 of Corey Heim. He's got a car that's very connected right now. All the way around the corner. He's just too tight overall. And needs a little adjustment. Josh? For the one of Sam Mayer. He's a little free on entry. A little free on exit. But said keep the adjustments minimal. And then for the 98 of Riley Herbst. Happy with the car. Frustrated with the way the guys were racing around him. Said give me four times. And wow, he's doing the Coke 600. Wow. Race off pit road is big. You want to have control of this race. car keeps on freezing. I don't know why. Eric Almirola comes in the leader. He leads the leader. Thing? Justin Allgaier up to second in front of Riley Herbst. Plus two, plus three there. Plus three for Chandler Smith. And Austin Hill, who worked his way to the top ten into the stage, goes plus eight. So actually just outside the top ten. But a great pit stop gets him up to fifth off pit road. Let's try... Brennan Poole here and talk to him about his strategy. Brennan Poole, Joey Logano up here in the Fox booth. You got me? I'm going to try one more time. Brennan Poole, Joey Logano in the Fox booth. You got us? That's that's a hard no, I believe. <laughs> well, we were wanted to see what could... his strategy on, on what they were thinking and how, how they're going to play it forward. I just wanted here. to hear how much fun he was having. Uh, I think maybe he's having so much fun, the radio's not working. I just wonder if he couldn't hear you or just didn't want to talk to you. Problems on the road for a couple of our front runners. Cole Custer having a hard time getting out of his stall. And Corey Heim with some problems as well. Stage two coming up. And some of the leaders having some issues there. So uh, that shows where Heim has come out way back where he was. So I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Commercial break. We always mute the commercials here. Almost a 300 on the folks in the chat. See if we can get some more folks here with us. Uh, as the games get going, the Tigers and the White Sox like they're winning 3-2. to two. Got the Orioles and the Angels tonight. This afternoon, D-backs and Rockies as the Major League Baseball season's kicked off. Plus, we got college basketball tonight. UConn versus Illinois. Bama versus Clemson. Two big games tonight. That should be interesting. Rangers and Cubs at 6.05. These are all central times here. 3.10 for Blue Jays, Rays. Mariners, Red Sox at 8.40. Padres, Giants at 6.15. Phillies, Braves, my boys, playing at 3.05. We'll be keeping track of that game as the game will start here in about 20 minutes or so. So Mets, Brewers, Brewers up 5-2. Pirates and Marlins and the Dodgers and the Cardinals tonight. Shohei Otani and crew coming at him. So got you a live ticker there for you guys to keep up with your teams. Because I know you do more and watch more than racing. So let's go Cubs. Big Cubs fan, Antonio says. Awesome. So that's a good little thing. You guys can see your, your teams playing plus watch some racing. So two for one there. Follow your teams as well. We are now in stage two. So let me get rid of our stage one. Stage two, or stage two, and we have 82 laps complete of 168 to go. We coming back with the Eric Amarola leading the green flag. Algaier Harps, 
Chandler Smith and Austin Hill, your top five cars. SVG is running both the Cup, Dega races, the 600, the Chicago Street Race, the Watkins Glen, and Vegas too. Nice. Thanks, James, for that. Appreciate that. How do you think he's going to do at the 600? It's a long race. Last year, six, almost six, we streamed for almost six hours during that race. We had like a little red flag issue as well during that, that race, but it was one of our biggest streams we've ever had. So back to it. Awesome downtown. Plenty to do, and a couple of weekends a year, home to NASCAR. There's your sign, Brad. Virginia I is love it. for lovers. There's a lot of drivers out here are loving these new tires. I they take that. that Absolutely. Oh. Bubba Pollard, it's, uh, enormous challenge no, today, making his debut, limited me. practice time. But, man, time. has he done so a nice job times. in the first stage plus. What's up, Matthew? Yeah, I mean, Thank we, we talked about this. It's, it's so hard for somebody to jump into any of the NASCAR ranks at this point with the limited amount of practice, and you expect to just figure out how to drive this car that you've never driven before right, and stage go two out there and win right you. off the bat. It's not, even, it's not fair to even think that could happen, but Bubba's doing a great job go, to start here. Ryan Seward, free pass with his caution. He's back boys. on the lead lap. Big jump on the restart at stage two for Eric Almirola. Riley Herps coming through to second. Oh, Eric Almora switched up the tactics a little bit there, Joey. Went late in the box and uh, kind of messed up he Justin Elgar. He's going to lose a Smith lot of ground. Third yeah, now. Justin was trying to time it on him. <laughs> he said, no, I don't think so, bud. <laughs> what a big restart for Eric Almirola. And unfortunately, Elgar just timing it wrong. He's going to lose four to five spots. Eric's teammate Chandler Smith taking advantage. Up, drives Matty through F. the middle What's of third. On, bro? Oh, a little contact, Austin Hill, Justin Algeyer, a little turn one here. I don't know what the average running position is today for Austin Hill, probably outside the top 10, but I'll tell you, he has done what he always does, find his way to the front, always ends the day in his best running position of the afternoon. Got to report the restart is under review. You guys see anything here? Here's the restart. They come into the zone. The seven kind of wants to go, and then Eric says, no, not yet. It's always hard to tell, Joey, from this view, if the 20 got on the brakes or just didn't go while the 7 know, was trying to time, time it. Right. And I think that's what NASCAR is probably you. reviewing here. I don't see anything that the 20 did there. I, you know, it looks like the 20 brake checks the field. It's only because everyone else went but him. He just yes. stays the same speed. And so he has the right to do that. He is exactly. the control car in the restart area. He gets to pick where to go. Let's listen to Eric Almirola radio. We got a report now that the restart is good. Here's what they're saying on the 20. Now the press. Interesting for sure. That's what he gets for trying to roll me. And for, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> we saw the same thing, Eric. <laughs> Eric's been around this sport for a long time to be in a lot of different scenarios. He saw what was happening as they went into the restart zone. He said, I don't think so, buddy. But in fairness to Justin, he did get the lead the last two restarts, doing a good roll on that. Mark, Mark and uh, finally somebody uh -huh. kind of checked him. Yes, and, and that's experience. That's a well, different Hurts, level Link, of Link what you see in the Cup Series versus the Xfinity Series a lot of times is that experience. Been, and, you know, when run. somebody does Leatherman it to you place. a few times, you know, you realize how to combat that and how to beat that. And Eric's been doing it long enough to know when it's happening and know how to answer it. Yeah, it was fun. 13th history. right now as we go along with Corey Heim. It's our Toyota onboard camera. They had a problem with the jack. We, we saw a bit of a delay on their pit stop going to break, but it was a jack issue that pushed him outside the top 10, 12th as he races Brennan Poole for position. And give a call to Kyle Weatherman right in front of him in that 91. Driving for Mario Goslin. Always seems to pop up at some point in the weekend doing something we didn't expect. And here he is knocking on the door of the top 10. And Kyle oh, Weathers is just Steven. one of those guys that's really a hustler. Uh, he grinds and finds ways to, to, to get opportunities and make the most of them. He's doing that here today for over. sure, Adam. Possible. I'll Ford make performance on board camera, so. one of our rookies, Haley Deegan. Trying to get to the outside here of the 28 car. Kelsey. 
Sheldon Creed back there. They, Bailey Deegan in 15. Said they had a tire and, uh, issue on that sorry. first run, but it's been a subpar day really for them. Both practice qualifying and here in the race just can't seem to find what they need. Yeah, we got a report. No truck race. Yeah, we got a report from Pit Road. I think Regan might have a little more detail. Yeah, I'm yeah Brad, the right lap. front tire on Sheldon Creed was showing cords on the very inside edge of that tire. That's basically the way the tire leans into the corner was the area that was damaged. But he complained from the start of the race about an extremely tight race car. I got to imagine that's that what I stream on. I stream yeah, on you stream start labs. leaning on one tire too hard here at Richmond. Got to figure you're it out. Start paying good. the price and. You know, if you take off with your balance being really yellow. tight and you grind it off, Why is it, <laughs> there ain't nothing behind? left by the end. A little contact here off of turn two, Haley Deegan and Sheldon Creed. It's like we might have found a rock in our uh, camera here. It must be behind. Roof. Let me refresh. Because it shows caution. And I'm on lap 95 as well. TV's on lap 95. There's no caution. These guys are battling hard. They're starting to lose the handling there again. There's no caution. 20 laps into the stage. The first few laps felt really good, and now every lap from here on out, cars are getting just a little think, bit freer. And this is the battle I think NASCAR I've been is weird. AJ Allman, Daniel oh, Bowman, they've they been racing it. side by side, trading a little paint as we got to spin. Caution is out. It's our fourth of the day. Third for a problem on track, making his debut, Logan Bearden. That was Looks weird. Like the car's clean I'm there. Refresh, so I'm up to date. Let's see if we can tell what happened. Here we, uh, Did he I'm spin? To see where is that? What happened? Oh, oh there, there he is. Going in the yep. corner. Got in a little bit uh, hard on the bottom of the racetrack here, Joey, it looks like, and uh, around she went. Really easy to do in the turn three. You brought it up earlier, Brad. It, you know, there's not much banking turning into the corner, and it's easy to start okay, getting so offline, and then you get a car to the outside. There's not much space. They're taking air off the side it. of your car, so you're losing that side force. And as a rookie, we just talked about how hard it is just to learn how to drive one of these Xfinity cars with not much practice. Well, now they're learning how to race yep. as well, and, you know, mistakes like that will, will happen. Good thing is... All right, I'm going to refresh real quick, y'all. One second. Refresh the stream so I can have the uh, audio up to date there at a commercial break. Yeah, so I was a little behind. Glad the caution came out. It was a good uh, minute or so. So refresh. We'll be back to synced in with the, the stream and the audio. Appreciate y'all hanging out here. Make sure you're hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. We're trying to get to 10,730 now. We'll take five at a time. And we're over 100 likes. Thank you guys so much for the 100 likes. Keep hitting that like button. Our next goal is 150 on the likes. So we got to 100. Just keep on doing it, y'all. Keep on doing your thing. If you would like to join the memberships, we have emojis for you guys. There are also uh, three slates of memberships. We have... Rookie, that you can use emojis only. Pro, you get uh, special vlog previews on certain ones that I, I turn out. And then uh, MVP. MVP gets you all of that above, below. Plus, on Monday nights, uh, if there's not a Braves game that I'm doing or hockey or whatever, um, Monday night we have a special MVP uh, live stream just for you guys that are MVPs. It's a quick one-on-one -on -one with you all. No races, no games going on. Just us talking back and forth. You just have to upgrade to MVP if you're a rookie or a pro already. And you get a special live stream just hanging out with us. Uh, asking me questions. We talk about whatever. We had one last Monday. It was one of the biggest, biggest ones we've had but uh, for the MVP members. So it's called MVP Members Monday Live on Mondays. So we'd love for you to hang out, upgrade your membership today to MVP or become an MVP member for $2.99 and it's upgraded, uh, re redoes every Monday or every month and you can cancel at any time. So those are our memberships. All that goes back to the channel, which we're getting uh, next month. We'll be buying two new monitors for uh, the channel so we can see better and a new mic as well. I'm going to have, instead of this low mic, I'm going to have one that's coming right here in my, my face. So I don't have to feel like I have to bend down and talk to y'all all the time. So thank you guys so much for all the love. Keep on hitting that subscribe. 11K is coming quick, y'all. 11K is coming quick. What's up, Ernest? Ernest says, hey, CeeLo, are you going to do 
the Indy 500 this May. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a all day. I don't know. It's going to be a lot of racing. Let's see. We'll see. I'm not sure about the daytime, but definitely the 600. On a heater. I mean, five consecutive top five finishes to begin the season. An average finish of 2.4. Incredible what Austin Hill has been pulling off. All right, y'all, be right back. We use the restroom real quick. Austin Sendrick started 2021 with five straight top five finishes. Kyle Busch did it in 2014. In fact, when Kyle did that, even though he was a cup regular, his average finish was 2.2. That, that's the best through five races, a 2.2 average, right? But when it comes to a series regular, no one's outdone what Austin Hill has done this year, averaging 2.4, Josh. For Austin Hill, going into the race, the car wasn't exactly where he needed it. They've been working on it. The biggest complaint has been he needs drive off. But after that last stop, now he's complaining about being on the splitter a little bit. So they're going to try and help him out the next time he comes down with some air pressure. Look at this guy. He's ready to see some good racing. <laughs> I, I hope think tomorrow's good. I think tomorrow will be good, too. All right, back in the restart zone. We'll see what Eric Almoro does right here. You see Riley Herb spun the tires a little bit. Justin Allgaier squeezing it down the center. Allgaier oh, 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 wow. Parker That's Clickerman. Parker Kligerman, yeah, on the 48. And Big Cole contact Custer into the outside wall. Right there wall. with him. Didn't hit the wall, but he and Cole Custer definitely drifted up together. Yeah, yeah, we talked about this, too. Refiring on older tires, if you don't get them cleaned off, sometimes you so just go David, in there and they in. slide, and it feels like you have a flat tire until they get cleaned off, and that might have been the case there. Let's we'll see if we can tell what happened. Here's a replay. You know, three, oh, four wide into one. It looks like the double zero got tagged or a little bit loose underneath him and wiggled up into the left front of the 48, and not much uh, Parker could have done there. I see his play was to try to... Pass a bunch of cars up there, just ran out of space. Taylor Gray in the 19 was right in the middle of that as well. Shelton Creed, whatever adjustments they made on that stop, he has been really moving forward. Here we see him battling for the uh, 18th good, position, too. 18th, 19th position. Yeah, he had, just a minute ago, we updated his progress. He was outside the top 25, and Creed Why was not? right Why back in the mix. That? Three wide, four position here. Why Parker Quigerman trying to roll this, this top side of everybody, trying to get that track position back. And how about Kyle Weatherman making a pass on our pole sitter, Parker Retzloff, for ninth? Oh, he gets a little loose down there at one and two. He's going to slide up the hill. Retzloff back in the top ten now as he jumps in front of that 91. Watching the 12 of Hines. Retzloff started on the pole, the 12th, led 27 uh, laps Hines early, drifted, spot. was outside the top ten, but trying to regain his form, being scored ninth. Chandler Smith, up, Donald? Justin Allgaier on, for second. Riley Herbst is right there with him. Justin Alcar is pushing pretty hard right now at this point of the run. You see him kind oh, of slide in the rear too, of that Maddie. car off a of four, making these passes. Got to imagine I don't know Eric how long going to last. Imagine Eric Almoro is loving that, right? He's got the lead here. He's taking care of his car for this next 40 some laps. Close enough. Yeah, all Eric's uh, doing is he's checking up in the mirror enough. and he's saying, okay, I got about a half a second there. All right. They're racing each other hard. Okay. I just kind of pace it right here. Stay right where right, right I'm at. Yep. Wants to keep that half a second to a second gap, and that's exactly what he's doing. Mitchell yeah, Shelton. With you, yeah, wow. Interesting. Some smoke coming out of. You know, we we're just talking about Sheldon Creed was recovering from uh, not the best to start, but not what he wants to see right here. It, you know, it, and he said it's probably. They, they just said it, it's probably the engine. It doesn't really look like there's any fenders rubbing, so it, it could be. Regan, you have an update here? Well, Joe, you're exactly right. That's what he just told the team. They said there's no tire rubs, no anything like that. He said it smells like oil. They're afraid that engine's getting set to expire here. Adam. Wow. That this would is, be two yeah. on a day if that happens, and what a Show surprise that would be. We've only had one engine-related DNF in the last five races here, so two in the same day. It's Like I was saying earlier, it's kind of unheard of here at Richmond. Brandon Jones earlier, now Sheldon Creed. Austin Hill and Meyer battling for Austin fifth. Austin Hill battling to stay in the top five. He wants to keep that top five streak still going Gun there. Load. Yeah, he's got a long way to go, but he's done all he needs to in the first half of the race to put himself in position. After starting 16th, Sam Mayer continues to be impressive as they race for the spot, and right behind them, Taylor Gray. Can't say enough good things about the driver from New Mexico, just celebrated his 19th birthday, starting in the Xfinity Series for the first time, and 
just feeling it out and getting better as the afternoon goes along. Yeah, running a good, smart race, and you got to give him a lot of credit for that. Uh, you know, when you, you make your first start in any series, it's uh, it's a challenge, a lot to learn, and uh, you know, you always hope that you have a strong and solid day. But uh, easier said than done. He's doing everything he needs to do right here. I can tell you that. It's always funny. I, I remember my first start, and you're like, well, what do you expect? I don't know. <laughs> it's yeah. like, how do you know what to expect? Yeah. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Let's figure out when I get there, I guess. It's, it's hard to know what's going to happen in these things, especially when you have no experience on your side. That sounds like Thank a shot Giants at one of us on the media it. side. So you're Give making your first career Rhino start. What back. do you expect today? And Joey says, I have no idea. I, have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, to use a Larry Mack line, you don't know what you don't know when you're right. making that first start, right? Yep. Which sometimes could be a good thing. <laughs> There's some terrific battles all around the track here. Uh, we still see Austin Hill fighting Sam Mayer. Is, I think they might have been side by side now for the last five or six laps. That's so frustrating, too. We, we, yes. Either one of them, you're just like, oh, I just want to run my pace. and I don't want to run harder. I'm going to burn the tires off. It. Will, will you just slow down and let me go? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't really ever work like that. No, it doesn't. Almost over a half a That's second. That's part of what makes it so much fun to watch. Austin Hill slide up a little bit in the turn one. You can tell. I didn't see Amarola uh, either dominating got a little too hard or he's just a little bit too free. We heard him talking about being a little bit free. Lap 114 and 250, on stage two, y'all. Feedback from his radio. Austin Hill, the veteran at RCR. Back behind him, the rookie, Jesse Love. He's running right at the edge of the top ten here. Having yeah. a quiet, smooth day so far. Of course, the two, the team car to the 21. And Danny Stockman is the crew chief for that two team. And Danny's a great veteran. He's been with so many good ones over the years, various levels of experience. And he told me last week at Coda, he's so impressed with what Love brings to the table and spoke to how hard he works away from the racetrack. And when I was in their hauler prior to the race today, Jesse was down there studying the data. He really is not afraid to roll his sleeves in up and go to work. And that's why you see the results he's getting. Back-to-back -back top tens. Finishing in front of where he runs in the race. Second at Phoenix, six last week at Coda, and in the top ten again here today. And that's what it takes to be a good race car driver these days. You know, everybody at this level and on forward from here is really, really, really good. And they have a ton of talent. Going fast is just part of the equation. Racing and understanding the little details is the rest of it that makes the difference for a driver and a team. Chandler Smith's been the fastest car on the track the last probably three or four laps. He caught Justin Allgaier trying to make a pass here. It's not quite there, but uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing out of him. Well, we saw earlier where Justin Allgaier passed him on the top, and we said, boy, he's really using his stuff up. Is Justin Allgaier starting to pay the price for running too hard early in the run? Oh, wow. Chandler really drove it in hard there. Jumps in front of him, does Chandler Smith. Chandler out in Smith. front of Justin second Allgaier place. for second now. So it's Joe Gibbs racing baby, one Chandler two. Smith. Taylor Gray finds himself in the top 10, so their Toyotas are delivering. We talk teammates, and here they are from Colleg, all bunched together. Get the team photo. 16 is Almendinger, <laughs> 97 Van Gisbergen, Josh Williams in the 11. And they're racing for 14th. I'm not sure they'd want the team photo in 14. Well, right hey, now. hey, you know what? It's a, it's a good photo op. <laughs> We've taken worse ones. Yep, I'll give you that, Adam. But uh, no, they, they, you could tell that these three cars are very equally prepared uh, based on how they're running. Yeah, Bubba Pollard right there behind Thank you for them. that subscribe. What do you think about Keselowski? And Parker Kligerman, who's trying I to like recover Kislowski. from that restart where he I got know, the wall. I know a lot wall. of y'all hate Looks, you know, Lucky for him, it doesn't seem like there must have been and much And we all like, didn't like bent. Soros. I, he hit the wall so hard, I thought it would have bent something. But looks like he's all right. Did they black flag like green? Pollard. Sheldon Creed had, had brought his car down to the road. NASCAR away. had posted him for the smoke, and so the engine issues continued for him while his teammates are out yes, in front of the field. Did. Eric Almirola has been outstanding today, leading 55 there, laps. Here uh, are our Toyota 34. top performers. Chandler Smith, we mentioned, I, got around Allgaier for second. Taylor Gray in the top ten. And Corey Heim, who was impressive early, had the issues on the pit stop, but he has stayed in touch with the top ten, currently 34. 11th. Oh, that's cool. I can do that. 29 laps to go in our second snowman. stage. Al Marola, Chandler Smith, Allgaier, California. Herbst Hill, the top five. We're going side by side. It's the Xfinity Series live on FS1. 
All right, appreciate y'all hanging out. Thanks for all much for the subscribes today. We are on our way to 11K. We're trying to get to 10,800. So keep on hitting that subscribe button for us. Anybody but Denny in the booth. <laughs> T-Van. Okay, I get it. It's all good. Yeah, he hasn't done any booth stuff, has he? Matty D's flying to the top 20. There he is. Uh, Weatherman back to 13th now. He's kind of cooled off a little bit. Heim there in 11th. Jesse Love in top 10 now. Parker Runcifly started on the pole. He's there in 9th. Taylor Gray, 19-year-old, running in 7th spot. Does drive the truck races, but does his first Xfinity race. Looking good in that 19. Looking good. So... Uh, back here in the back of the pocket, there's Bubba Pollard. He's back there in 19 spot. Broke the top 20 spot there. Uh, let's see here. Haley Digging in 27th. Brendan Poole. Man, he had that long run there at the first stage, and now he's back there in 20, 29th spot. And there's your car's lap down. Vargas, he blew an engine. Brendan Jones blew an engine. Sheldon Creed's had some motor issues. He got black flagged by NASCAR, so he's in the pits. So he's a couple laps down, seven laps down. So uh, Joey Case, Gase is on the last car on the lead lap. So hope everybody's doing well today. Thanks for hitting the like for us and subscribing to the channel. We appreciate it so much. So audio coming back here. We'll go to in-car camera here in just a second. Where is y'all? Where are y'all going to races this year? Let me see in the chat. Where are y'all going to watch any races this year? I'm going to do Nashville for sure. And I'm not sure after that, but uh, definitely Nashville, all three races, the truck, the Xfinity and the cup. Um, so I'd love to see if some of y'all are out there. I know our mod uh, Rick, he's going to meet me out there. So if you guys are out there in Nashville, maybe we can plan a meetup or something to meet up and say hi since you guys spend every weekend with us. So love to meet up with y'all. So where are y'all racing? Where y'all going to go watch some races this year? I know someone said that they were going, uh, night Bristol playoff. Oh, we'll see what happens. If I can get to go to that one too, that would be cool. Ernest. I'd like to go to that one too. We always usually do. So maybe we can get to that one as well. But, uh, last year we went to Nashville and we went to, uh, You'll be visiting Texas. Awesome. Good to see you. Little gray there, and Eric referenced this earlier Texter. today in one of our interviews. But he doesn't look much different <laughs> no, than 18 crazy. years ago. No, I, wow. Just I don't know what he's eating to, or uh, taking, but uh, words. Would, you can would talk, like to. Uh, we can't say the same, Brad. Right? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I look a little different. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> no. Some great genes. Huh. I said this earlier, better gray than gone. And uh, <laughs> Eric still has all his hair and... Well, I right, don't. So. Exactly. Well, he's looking pretty good. Apparently, in those uh, years he's that have passed, he's really figured this racing thing yeah. out, Joey. Looks Sam really fast right now. Player. Sam Mayer up to fourth, making a late ride in stage two. Regan? Adam, unfortunately, Shelton Creed out of the race earlier. We thought possibly Thank an you, engine Robert. issue Appreciate initially, it. but what ultimately put you out of the race, Shelton? Thank you, Robert. I guess the right rear brake was dragging. It's three weeks in a row that we've had car problems and our teammates are out there leading the race. Pretty much all three weekends we have trouble, so. So frustrating. We have so much potential on this 18 team and uh, yeah, to, to not be able to run all the laps, it's just frustrating. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, mechanical DNFs are, are not your friend as a race car driver, and you can obviously hear the frustration in Sheldon's voice. And What's going on? always hurts a little bit more when you you have a mechanical DNF and your teammates are leading the race. That's uh, certainly not ideal. Yeah, it's, it's you can yeah, hear the frustration. Really I mean, that's the raw emotion. Uh, I mean, think about you know, he just got out right of the now. race car from grinding it out out there, and he's upset. I, and then someone sticks a microphone in his face. I mean, it's part of the job. I get it, but it's also like. Gosh, I can't so even get my birds. emotions under control yet. Yeah. <laughs> as frustrated Denver's as it is, Denver's probably doing a Discord I mean, this is, game. This is their the career. Braves this today. is their job. Watch. This is their life out there, and it, it's all performance based. It's how you do and how you what your results are at the end of this thing, and it can eat you up quick. Look at the lap times Thanks for, for Sam Mayer, who's stars. really turned it up with 17 to go on the stage. Just What's round, up, we're around all guys. He's up to third. 
man, he you talk about taking care of your car on the long haul. He has done that, passing a lot of cars here late in the going in this second stint of the race. Yeah, he's and, definitely pretty strong. There's a couple tenths or so faster than Almarola the last lap. We talk about the 20-year-old. Let's give some love to the 19-year-old Taylor Gray. First right, ever start has worked his way right. into the top five driving the 19. Yeah, he's done a great job in the in the truck series. You've seen Wasn't constant that improvement crazy? out of Taylor. All we the, get the week he's yeah, more RCR. and more in contention of winning races consistently. And, you know, you see he's able to jump into a brand new kind of car for him, the Xfinity Series car, and be able to pick up on it pretty quickly here at Richmond. It speaks to the talent at Tricon Garage in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. When you Logan look at what Bearden, Corey Heim has done today. Chevrolet. The same for Taylor Gray. 16 spot. I mentioned Corey Heim won last week at Coda. Taylor Gray was second to him, so we know the talent is there. Josh Williams is somebody I want to point out. He has been passing cars, started 26th, not where he wanted to start, but he has drove up to 12th, and he's running some really quick lap times right now, guys. I think he might be a top five, top ten in speed. Uh, he's run down Cole Custer here in front of him to, and Jesse Love to hopefully break into the top ten. But he's needed a solid run. He's had a, a rough start to the season, and, you know, he's in a college car. He's got, got definitely a more capable car than he's had in the past, and he wants to show the talent that he's got, and uh, today seems like a good example of that. A new dad. We talked about it last week at Coda. Missed practice and qualifying on Friday in Austin, Texas, because his wife, Trasia, was delivering their, their – they had their first baby on Friday, and uh, he, he missed the practice qualifying session, came out on Saturday. at Lynn Come on, Josh. is the young baby at home, so we offer our congratulations once again. Well, the two and double go. zero crossing each other over in front of him, racing really hard, giving him opportunity to get up there and pounce as well. Taylor Gray making a pass on uh, Justin so, uh, Algar up ahead of these guys. Let's check out Haley Deegan again. We're just racking him up with Keep going. It sounds like our cheers are working, but uh, he's a he's. This is a Deacon remarkable for him and remarkable action across the race track. There's some really good battles here, guys. Yeah, I always said Richmond is the, the racetrack. If you're a purist, if you love old school it. pure racing. Richmond is that racetrack for you where you have to manage your tires, a strategy that, that is in there for the drivers, but also the crew chiefs and, and how they call this race, uh, you know, running too hard, paying that penalty. You know, it, it, it just seems like it's one of those races that along with the smart guy wins a lot of times. And if it doesn't it's freeze. not quite the hammer track like you see a lot of these repays where you just got to go as hard as you can every single lap. You can't do that here. And I think if you're an old school race fan, this is the type of racing you would love. On board here with Haley Deegan. If you go of back up to the top five with nine to go on the stage, I want to highlight the ages of these drivers. Eric Almarola is leading. He's 40 years old. But if you look behind him, Chandler Smith is 21. Sam Mayer is 20. Taylor Gray is 19, and then another veteran in Justin Allgaier, who's 37. Pollard, That's quite that a discrepancy. Yeah, it is. All, over the place. all those Chevys. <laughs> Look at all those Chevys. No one really in the middle. Yeah, and Eric's doing a phenomenal job. He's, he's all the way up to three and a half second lead, and we talked about that at the start of this run, uh, how we had those cars side by beside Justin Allgaier, Chandler Smith, and, and those guys are now starting to pay for it, right? Sam Mayer passing Chandler Smith. The whole time, Eric Almirola was just taking care of his car, Joey. Right. Now, we, you know, this third stage can get interesting because now you have Sam Mayer who just cr crawled up into the second place, shows he has a really good long-run car. Might put a little bit more pressure on Eric in the third stage. And here's what I would say about Sam Mayer. We talk about the troubles that yeah, they faced early strategy. in the year with yeah, those, those DNFs getting involved races. in accidents, came in behind the eight ball on Remember, points. Uh, what race was but he it? finished Vegas? fifth in stage Where one, gets stage out, points. Here he is running Where second in stage two, an opportunity to get nine more stage points. That is how you Atlanta? climb the ladder in the standings when you've had a problem, is delivering in the stages, and he's getting it done 
here today. His teammate yeah, Justin Allgaier back run. there in Josh fifth Williams, reading. Yeah. Well, and Adam, he's fading just a little bit. They had problems with the drive off the corner, spinning the rear tires on the initial runs of the race. They thought they had made that better. As I early report, this run was that it was better. He was just too tight across the middle. Well, it's eared its head. It is eared its ugly head again. He is spinning the tires all the way down the straightaway. Said the left rear feels like it's completely gone. Brad and Joey, when that left rear is gone here, it's not fun. <laughs> he's done. Oh. But he was loose to start the run, yes, and he was running it hard as well. Yep. Five and, little and stones. Do you like still said, watch? Eventually, uh, you're gonna have to rope drop. pay the piper on this one, and he, he's definitely doing that towards the end of this run. Luckily for, well, for Justin, there's only four laps to go says. in this thing. Oh, he's counting them down too. He says, "Please end this." Four laps Remember to go when in Logan stage Bearden two, y'all. Had a spin, making his debut. Look at the Keep 14. Like he is Keep just outside the top We're ten, 10 and racing around some of the best in the business in the Xfinity Series. Great job for this young driver. Now, I don't know, but did he put tires on when he spun out? There you go. I would assume yeah. that was probably why, yes, he did. Uh, lap 98, he put tires on. So, you know, he's got 20 laps or so newer tires than, than the cars he's racing, so he's capitalizing on that. Let him have his fun, Joey. Let him have that fun. <laughs> Still doing a good job. I was job. explaining how he drove through the whole field. <laughs> <laughs> good for you, Still Logan. good. <laughs> Two to go. Five Stage two for sure Eric Almirola. Uh, He's looking drive. pretty unstoppable right now, guys. Running really smart. Putting himself in all the right positions. Good battle here for sixth as well. Al so there's Corey your answer Hines about kind of Logan Bearden. A little bit. We, we saw him fall just, back in that pit sequence. He put four tires on on lap uh, Just outside the top ten. And now here he is trying to make his way back in the top five. He's looking to get a couple... He's pulling up a Brendan more Poole. points right here in the final lap of the stage for Corey Heim trying to get Justin Algar. You see, he just Justin just can't throttle up on the exit. You see, he made all his gains on the exit there. Eric Almirola, one stage win in Xfinity competition coming into today, but he's gonna get the sweep. And this will be the third time Eric Amarola. in 2024. The a driver out. has swept both stages. Neither or none of those drivers have gone on to win the race. And back behind the mayor is second. Chandler Smith, Taylor Gray, Corey Heim, the top five. And Bearden able to get by Williams for the final spot in the top 10 to end stage two. 150 laps in the books here at Richmond. It's been the Eric Almirola show so far. All right, so stage two is complete. We move on to the third and final stage of the Toyota Care 250 from Richmond Raceway. Appreciate all the love today and all the subscribers, all the likes. Thank you guys so much. Keep hitting that like button and subscribing. Thank you again, getting us to 10,730. Let's go now to 10,740. And we're almost to, uh, let's get to our goal of 150 on the likes on our stream. So, Another caution out at the end of the stage. Not many wrecks today. A lot of blown engines. A couple spins on tires, but uh, no major wrecks, which I thought there might be some type of uh, some type of big time wrecks here. So maybe we we'll get some pit stops coming up here. We'll see how that goes. Props to Logan Beard and getting a stage position. I know. Good for him. And of course, like you just remember what he just said. He. He put on tires, uh, top 10, he finished. Uh, he put tires on, four fresh tires at 98 laps. So he was had a lot more tire left than the rest of the team, rest of the guys out there. Go Logan, James Sos. All right, third and final stage. And uh, later on this afternoon, I'll have tomorrow's stream up for the Toyota Owners 400. Already got the thumbnail up for it. Got the thumbnail ready to go. Just need to uh, get the stream up. And also tomorrow the basketball stream will be up as well. So, <clears throat> Oh, yeah, it is a big deal. Hey, just finishing the top 10 is a big deal. I mean, to be even if you had the best tires and you still have to pass these great drivers. So it's not like, uh, you know, they're just letting him go by as he comes by. So that's how it goes. Man, 70 subscribers left to 10,800. Sure. 
All right. Next week, we go to Martinsville, and all the races are on FS1. Everything, all the coverage is going to be on FS1. And I'll have to look to see if uh, it's NASCAR. Is it Truck Series and Xfinity? Let's see what it is next week. When we had the promo last week that said Logano and Keselowski would be in the booth here at Richmond, I said the dynamic duo is back. We're Bradley back. and Joseph. <laughs> uh, my dancing skills have not improved, for those that might be wondering. <laughs> Evidently, in this shot, your razor <laughs> had broken. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow on Fox, the NASCAR Cup Series, including Bradley and Joseph here in Richmond, a rare Easter Sunday night race. The pre-race kicks things off, 6 Eastern, then engines fire at 7. It's all on Fox and the Fox Sports app. You didn't look like Blaney no, being no. non-shaven there. No, but that, you know, that was not that cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was Thank before Mr. Penske gave him a waiver. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get that well, waiver. <laughs> did you negotiate I for did that? Not. That must forever. be his contract, I'm not sure. Right. But, uh, well, one yeah, month. I, I got a clean shave today, and uh, I'm enjoying the race up here, guys. I always love being here in the booth. Uh, I know, Joey, you're up here all the time. I enjoy coming up here well, Kelly, and talking about races. Right and I, I don't know what else I'll do on a us. Saturday afternoon <laughs> to do this at this point. So I, I've enjoyed it. And the race in here at Richmond is about as fun as it gets. As the pits are open, everybody will come down and get four set four Goodyear tires and um, have one set left after this. Eric Almirola is looking to maintain the lead, Regan. That's it. absolutely what he's looking to do right now, Brad. As far as the car, it is good for him right now. The entry and exit went away just a little bit more than he wanted to. That run getting a little bit free at the end. And the 81 of Chandler Smith, his biggest struggle is rear grip. The front end is numb also, but he needs some help with the rear grip. Josh? How about this debut for the 19 of Taylor Gray? Fourth in stage number two. We said that car fired off good, got a little loose towards the end of that run. And then for the one of Sam Mayer, said that car was solid overall. Started to lose the tires towards the end. He said, if you make any adjustments, just a little bit tighter for me. Mentioned maintaining position. Race off pit road. Once again, the 20 team delivers. Contact coming out of the pits there. Taylor Gray, Sam Mayer, plus one for Gray, plus three for Austin Hill. My math says on the day, the 21 has gone plus 11 in wow. their two pit stops. Well, Chandler Smith lost the couple. Here's what we were talking about. Boom. Ooh, that's a big hit. Watch Final stage stop. in the Toyota that's Care cool 250 when we return. Cool camera work. Cool camera work. Four tires for Heim. I'm gone. That's cool shot. So there's Heim. Watch, watch the pit stops are always fun on the camera. Keep hitting that like button, y'all. Trying to get to 150 on the likes. We're at 133. Keep on hitting that subscribe button as well. Join the channel today. Join the NASCAR community, our awesome NASCAR community today. So. All right, stage three, 93 laps. We're going to call a winner here today. All right, stage three, here is where we always decide. Here's where we always decide who is going to win this race. Are you keeping who you picked before we started this race, or have you changed your mind? Maybe your car is out of the race or a couple laps down or hadn't been run into good today. Here's your last chance to change who you want to win. I'm still going Chandler Smith. He's running in fifth place. He's been in the top five all week. He's won here twice with the truck and the, uh, last year with Xfinity. I'm going Chandler Smith, even though Eric Amarola is dominated. I think someone tries to find a way to beat him. So let me see who you got. Let me see who you got. Bronny's going 20, top 20. Don't even know Smithley was in the race. Anyone but Austin Hill for me on the leaderboard now, Morgan says. Nope, not doing it. 
98. All right. Karen's going with the 98. Who else you got here? I'm going Chandler Smith. Who else do you have? Let me see. Is anybody changing their mind? If not, forever hold your peace. You're pulling for Sam Mayer. All right, so Lee's going Sam, the, the one car. NASCAR Xfinity Series making their 78th appearance at Richmond Raceway. First short track race of 2024. Doing so on Easter weekend. Look at our stage point breakdown. Mention Eric Almirola gets the sweep, trying to become the first driver this year to sweep the stages and pull into victory lane. Sam Mayer, great afternoon. Chandler Smith, Justin Allgaier also scoring a bunch of points. Let's go Kelly's back to the 20. exit of pit road after stops and watch yeah, Taylor Gray and Sam Mayer get connected. Yeah, big contact here. And look at all the damage on Mayer. Sam yeah, that's Mayer a fair amount of damage there. It looks like he's behind the tire, so it should be here okay. We go. Green flag. Oh. Third stage. Almirola Mayer, front Here row for the race track. Let's go racing, boys! Mayer with a solid launch. Oh, the fender right, right off the yep. bat. Ooh. Oh, and Sam that's Meyer. damage on pit road. Chandler oh, Smith coming through good, to third. Restarts under review. It, it looked like maybe Chandler Smith wanted just a little bit early on the outside to see uh, what NASCAR thinks here. That's a lot of rubbing on, on the left front of Sam Mayer. I and mean, he's started yeah, the season, but it's so tough for him. He's showed speed, and he's in position to win the race right now or to possibly win the race. And I don't know if that one's going to hold there, Bradley. Oof. I'm glad we don't have to decide. Here, we're going to watch the restart real quick. What I want to pay attention to is this car right here, Chandler Smith. Did he go a little bit early? Sam Mayer uh, on that outside Sam lane. Mayer. Sam Mayer, I'm sorry. Restart, yeah, that, that's all too good. close to call for me. So NASCAR's going to give it all clear as well. Mayor dodges one bullet, no penalty on the restart. Now, what happens with that damage in the tire? We'll keep an eye on it. It almost looks like it might be getting a little bit better. Oh, oh it's no, it's flat. flat. It's flat. Oh. Flat, 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 flat. Well, he's going to have to limp around here for a lap. He just missed pit road. As at the worst place, that tire could have gone flat. Luckily, he didn't hit the wall, but he's got to get all the way around here. Ooh. Sam Mayer having a great day. Top five, stage one. Top five, stage two. Scored a bunch of stage points. Exactly what he needed. But now problems, and the race for the lead is on. Teammates going at it. Chandler Smith inside of Eric Almirola, the 81 out front at Richmond. Go, 81. There is action everywhere on this racetrack as Sam Mayer gets to pit road. You have to wonder, this, this run here, Joey, is one of the longest runs of the race. Is Eric Almirola really saving his tires? They've only got one set left, right? I, I would think so. they got one set of tires left. There is a couple ways to play this. You could split this run in half and pit under green, and that's going to be the fastest if it runs green the whole way. And if you do that, it's actually not that long of a run. But if the caution comes out, you're in trouble. Race is over, yep. You'd be out of tires. But left side tires on Sam Mayer's car, really costly. He's going to lose at least two laps, maybe even three laps here. So much yeah, it's going to take him out of contention. Chandler's uh, such a bummer right, for him. Nothing he could have done. He's rolling down pit road, and, Bubba, and Trey, this uh, isn't, uh, the 19 NASCAR just drives right into his door. Not, nothing he can do there. And unfortunately, that's going to cost us a top 30 finish probably. Haley Deegan back in the pack. Some good Dallas action shots here. Corey Heim again. A drove up right to the top five. Lost some spots here in the restart and, and on pit road. Trying to recover back from that. He's got one of the fastest cars. Uh, and we saw him really take off at the end of that run. So he's hoping this thing goes, you know, 90-some laps straight here, Joey. Yeah. And there's Sam Mayer back on track, being scored 32nd, two laps down. Here comes his yeah, fourth tires. He's got you know, a little bit newer tires. That, that's the difference. We just went back green not too long ago. I was say, they haven't been out there that long, and already you see yes. the difference. That's how much. I mean, 8, 10 laps on tires is a really big deal. And he doesn't even have four new tires. I think they only took laps. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, it's yeah. even, even yeah. crazier. It does look like they were able to fix it to where it's not smoking anymore. Here's Corey Heim passing the, the 19. 
Taylor the Gray. He goes all the way around. You see all the, the rubber is off the right side tire on Taylor Gray's car. That had to do some uh, some damage to that. You're Maybe just Trey. cosmetic, but uh, hopefully just cosmetic and not the suspension. But uh, hard to tell. That was big uh, you're contact. Welcome, James. But he too has gone in the wrong glad, direction glad since the restart. Talking about Taylor Gray. I'm trying to complete the pass. Parker Kligerman, last car inside the Go top Josh ten. Williams, Regine Just says. in front of him, the rookie Jesse Love. Yeah, Taylor Gray, minus nine since the restart in that contact we saw. Yeah, Sam Mayer, just to touch on him one more time. He's back to 30 second, two laps down after that incident. He was three down. He got one lap back there when he passed Chandler Smith. Over 12 so far. He's coming. Riley Herbst at one time was inside the top five. He's now seventh and has company from our pole setter, Parker Retzloff. Three down, though. You know, if you're Parker and you go out and get your first career pole, you'd love to finish the deal and, and win. But the bottom line is a, a top five is a great day for them. A top ten is exactly where they need to be. When you look at where they are and the balance of their program, and he's see, taking sir. care of the car. And when he needed to give, he has. And now here we are, 79 to go, and he's in position to capitalize on what would be his third top 10 What's finish up, of the year. Joe? Your boy's in the booth, Legato. Let's take you side by side. 79 remaining at Richmond. Chandler Smith in front of his teammate Eric Almirola. Allgaier Hill, Custer complete the top five. All right, so commercial break. Appreciate y'all hanging out here. On the go at CeeLo, we are in stage three, 78 laps to go here in Richmond. And uh, someone wanted to say hello to you guys and thank you for all your birthday wishes. Hold on a second. Never mind, she's unable to come right now. She'll come here in a little bit. But uh, appreciate y'all being here. Woohoo, y'all heard Amarola been mentoring Xfinity drivers. He just don't know when to give it up. Like, he was supposed to retire one year. He decided to come back. Then he retires. Then he goes to the Xfinity race. 370 of us here as uh, Chandler Smith opens up almost a second lead on Eric Amarola, Justin Allgaier, just Austin Hill, and then Colt Custard here with 173 laps complete. And we have a caution. Who is it this time? He just yanked his bumper off, and he is carrying it with him. Oh, he just threw it. He threw his back. Oh, my gosh. Who is that he just threw a bumper at? Oh. <laughs> I hope they show this again. I'm going to get it so y'all can see this. He just threw. He took off part of his car, and he threw it at whoever that caused him to spin. We're, I'm going to show you this. This is going to be good. Wow. If anybody at home watching that, that's nuts. Who is that? I can't see who wrecked. But we're about to see here in a second. Of course, all the cautions happen during a commercial all the time. 76 laps to go. A caution's out. Y'all, this is going to be hilarious. Race against crime, and he threw it at somebody. That's funny. See, it's going to go back to commercial yet? No, still commercial, side by side. I'm glad everybody got to see, we got to see that live. That's nuts. He literally, uh, I, I'm not sure who wrecked. I can't see the, uh, the car number, but whoever wrecked didn't like whoever spun him out. Cram, Cram spun the 30, 39, I think it's the 39 or the 35. I can't see the car number. Joey Gase. And Cram got together, and Gase got out of his car, and he threw his back bumper. Here we go. You saw it while we were side by side, but we're going to have to go full with this. Sixth caution of the day for Joey Gase. And he's obviously frustrated with fellow competitor Dawson Cram. First, here's what happened. Oh, yep. He gets kind of tagged down into turn one. Watch and this, y'all. Hard this. into the outside wall. Real hard hit for Joey Gase. It's part one of the highlight. So he's going to take a moment to really express his frustration here. First, he's going to finish 
tearing the rear bumper cover off his car and then wait for Dawson Cram. And his timing and throw was, was pretty impeccable here. Yeah, he did a good job at this right here. Boom, right in the windshield. I think I would have left my driver gloves on. OSHA would not have approved pulling that bumper That's cover awesome. off without the gloves. You know, I, that I, part oh, of the funny. plane in the traffic part. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I was going to say, OSHA has a problem with no gloves. NASCAR has a problem with walking down near traffic, and I'm sure he'll get a phone call and maybe I mean, some other items out of I this. mean, I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but I'm saying I understand. I understand, and uh, you know what? For all those people who say we're not athletes, boom, right there. Uh, he, he we can did, throw. It's <laughs> a pretty impressive throw. Um, That's awesome. You know, a lot of anger, a lot of frustration. So I want to hear Dawson Cram's radio it. on this. It's so good. What's up, Dicks Away? Make sure you check out my man, the Dicks Away. Kind of crossed my nose on exit. I just went to carry tires down the front stretch. I let him go at the start finish line, and he started spinning. I only pushed him for like two seconds. Well, it was two seconds too many. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did. I, I wish he had a little better angle of, of exactly how that, that gangster, all happened, but uh, got him a little too much. Yep, I think there's some explaining awesome. to do there. Beyond that, we're at a critical ground. juncture of this race, guys. They have one at. set of tires left in the pits. Pits are going to open here pretty soon. And I am so glad right now that I am not a crew chief in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Because she's 25th. If you pit here 25th. and another yellow comes out, this race is over. If somebody else puts tires on when you don't have any left. Yeah, you got to think this is a split call. I mean, it's there's no right or wrong answer at this point. You, you don't know how it's going to play out. If you run 50 laps from here and there's a caution with... 20 so or so laps to go and you got no tires left, you're not going to win. But you got these scuffs, right? We're, we're seeing in the pylon. It's been 23 laps since they pitted. A few of those under caution. Yeah, so you take these off, you save them in case you get the late caution, and then you run on stickers. I'm just throwing it out. We're all, you, yeah. you should see I'm our not, faces I'm not, right now. I'm not <laughs> suggesting that's the best policy. I'm just presenting the options. Pits are still close. We're, we've got another lap or two to figure it out, which these crew chiefs are, are really biting their nails right now. Someone sign them up <sighs> for the throwing team. Well, this is a great time for us to compare. Yeah. Let's do the bumper rows. cover Olympics, oh, right? Oh, that's the deck lid. Oh, yeah. That's still counts. Yeah, that's right. Right. yeah. Deck lid, bumper cover, parts and pieces from the rear of the car. A lot heavier, though. It's a lot heavier that's piece. Awesome. So you got to put that Al-Gyre's in consideration. But he had them, Joey Gase had to run down, find the car, throw it, and hit it. Hard. Hard. Very I, technical. Know, I, if we're saying who did it better... Uh, it's a close one, but I'm going to take Joey. Joey Gase, definitely the, the difficulty level of what he just accomplished was pretty tough. It was gutsy. Awesome. Mm. Uh, At least he wore his helmet, though. I do like that. The, the, the smart. <laughs> smart. The big so difference good. here is going to be I don't think NASCAR was upset at Justin Allgaier. I think they might get upset at Joey Gase. Now they're returning it right here. Thank you. Sign it, auction it for charity. I think that's getting returned to the, the NASCAR hauler, which is usually not a good he sign when you're ripped off wondering if you're going to get in trouble or not if it, it makes its way to the principal's bottom. office. Andy Street, you saw there on the pit box, crew chief for Austin Hill, running fourth. Pits are open. Here we go. Moment of uh, truth here. Big decision to be made. Here they come, Justin Algar. Oh, it splits. Stay out. It splits. Mixed bag. All guys stayed out. So did Cole Custer. Here they are, Regan. Here come a roller when the caution cut out. Came out, said he thought it was too early. Obviously, he got overruled. Needs a little bit of adjustment for grip right here. And the 81 of Chandler oh, well. Smith, they changed That's their plan. Camera. Originally, it was plan two, which must have been to stay out. They went to plan four, which was to go ahead and pit. Their Josh. And for the 21 of Austin Hill, they elected to come in. Also was complaining that he started sliding those fronts way too much and still tight across the middle. So the decision to come in and pit now and get those tires. We have some entertainment coming our way. Old tires versus new tires. Some teams rooting for a caution. Others that would like to see it go green. And this is where it it becomes a lot of fun. We talked about Richmond and being the purest of races. That's what this is all about right now. There's no telling how this is going to play out, but it's going to be fun to watch. Two veterans out front that have combined to win here three times. All Geyer and Custer. Sixth caution of the day. Joey Gase. That's not crazy. happy and showing his <laughs> that's hilarious try them now so much cool there y'all <laughs> that was so cool appreciate y'all hanging out here all right come here come here baby all right y'all 
I want y'all, everybody to wish Spain a happy birthday. She's the lady that keeps us all going here. Can you get in there? There she is. Our lovely lady. Everybody wish Spain a happy birthday. She's 20 years old today. No, 21. I'm drinking. 21. She's drinking today. So this is the one right here that keeps it together while I'm out here playing together with y'all. So make sure you say thank you to Spain and happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Uh -huh. Awesome. There she is. Love you, baby. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Everybody's saying happy birthday to you. That's cool. Thank you, y'all. Appreciate it. That's cool. All right, let's get back to racing here. She is the one that keeps it going while we're sitting here playing for three and a half hours. Is Cole Just Trickle winning? Cole Trickle's winning. She wants to know where Cole Trickle is, y'all. Where's she at? There she is. Tell us. Uh, let me see your favorite uh, Days of Thunder quote in the chat, y'all. Favorite Days of Thunder quote in the chat. You better do some something spending for her for letting you stream on her birthday. <laughs> it's on the patio. Rick, yeah, it's on the patio, Rick. <laughs> That's but, funny. I mean... Got I you a pretty gal there, Aww. she said. Oh. That's all. Thank you, guys. And yes, I do fold his laundry and hang up his shirt. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say Emerald retiring yet. Yeah, come on now. He keeps on trucking. As my mama used to say, he keeps on going on. <laughs> all right, so we're just at a commercial, y'all. Keep on hitting that subscribe. Keep hitting that like button. We're at 155. Let's see if we can finish the stream on 200 likes. Bubba's in P225. You can't come in right now. We're eating ice cream. Come on, let me see y'all's favorite Days of Thunder. Hopefully none of y'all are saying what's Days of Thunder. It's the race here. And or Ricky Bobby. Or Ricky Bobby. Six time today. Here's what happened. We're going to look here. We have got a, uh, we found a camera angle of the four car. Dawson Cram hitting the back of Joey Gase pretty late yes. down the back stretch. And that's what Joey's fired today, up about. Kimberly. That's going to get him loose. And he's not going to be able to save this thing before turn one. Really. Central. There's no way I can No, that. no, he was... Very sideways at that point. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, Dawson, I don't blame him for being mad about that. Dawson Cram on the receiving end of There we go. Green flag. Top 14 drivers stayed out. Front row, all guy or Custer. Here we go. Green flag. And this biggity, is going to be a biggity. show right here. Let's guys, go the top racing, 14 boys. Old tires. Everybody behind him on new tires. Chandler Smith on the outside of three. He's going to try to pass them all here as fast as he can, get the lead and run away. And he will get there Joe with that Deegan. much newer tires. He's going to get there pretty quickly. And these guys up front, they're hoping it runs 30, 40 laps, and the caution comes out. Custer gets the lead outside lane. Now, what you don't want right now, if you're one of the cars on new tires, you do not want to cause a yellow. You don't want a yellow, period, but you certainly don't want to cause it. You've got to be really careful working your way through this traffic. Where's Denny? Is he already out? Oh, this is nice. Chandler Smith up to ninth. This is Regan. Joey, Joey Gates checked and released from the Imperial Care Center. Joey, we saw the oh, contact going, going down the front straightaway. Was there anything else that led to that contact prior? I think him just not having his head screwed on right. You know, I gave the kid his first opportunity ever in Xfinity, and uh, I know Johnny Davis is in the business of wrecking race cars, and we're definitely not. We're small teams and racing hard for the lucky dog, and apparently he just didn't know how to lift. So maybe his throttle stuck. I don't know. Thanks, Joey. Oh. Well, you can certainly understand the uh, the hard feelings there. Absolutely. Hippie Joe says, I don't know what this is. What the tires it. mean? Chandler Smith has worked his way to fifth. That's awesome. We're Outside not into business of, of wrecking cars. Parker Retzloff. And I keep saying this. If the caution comes out it late, the roles shot. will be reversed for Chandler Smith. As quickly as he's driving through the field, the double zero, the seven, the 98, the 31, all these guys, when they put tires on, it's going to look the complete opposite. If they get the opportunity to do it, that's the big question right now. And nobody knows what will happen here. I'm all cracked this up. This is really the race. Dude. The race right now is the 81 and the 20 car. There's no way these guys are not going to prevail against like the double zero, Cole Custer, the seven of Justin Allgaier. 
they're, they're making passes so fast right here with new tires. But what you're watching here is the battle between 81 and 20. And, and why that is, is they're on equal tires. And they're, gonna, they're going to make these passes. The question will be, after they make these passes, if there's no yellow, who's going to make the best run here? Yeah, and, and that's why you see Chandler Smith. you got to get through this traffic as quickly as possible. Get yourself up front and run away from the 20, because if it does run green, that's that's the you guy you're first, racing. You laugh. Top four that pitted all in the top ten. You mentioned Smith, Adarola, Corey Heim is up there. Same for Jesse Love. Keep On board like with Heim now. Subscribe to the channel. And Smith goes after Allgaier for second. No problem. Chandler Smith has led 17 laps today. Led 83 no here Smith. a year ago. Got his first career victory. And he's going to be back on point as we see 59 to go. The fresher tires get him to the front. Smith around Custer 81 is on the point one more time. And we see right back there, Eric Amarola. He's three cars behind him right now. He's got to pass those cars and still run them down. And Chandler Smith just passed the 20 right before that last caution. So he's got a fast race car. Yep. How much tire did he use? We, we can't tell from in the booth, but that's the question. How much tire did he use making all these passes so quickly? There's still a lot of laps to go, 59 laps left. Austin Hill in the 21, another one of those drivers that elected to come down pit road has worked his way to the top 10. Same for Parker Kligerman. He made the stop. He's 11th right now. Shane Van Gisbergen, he stayed out. He's one of those guys that uh, is pulling for another caution to come here. Doesn't probably want it right now. They'd probably like for this yell, if they're going to get it, they'd probably like it for it to come with 20, 30 laps to go. Yeah, you get another 10 to 12 laps. I think, I mean, at that point, you're, you're going to be sitting pretty. You too, Andy. Eric Almoros Andy run down Cole Custer. And he's still in striking range, right, of Chandler Smith. He's going to end up being about a second and a half back after this pass for second place. So he's the, going to be able to keep him honest. The top two that pitted are now 1-2 on track after driving through those that stayed out. And restarting back. Uh, outside the top 15. Outside, yeah, outside the top 15. Yep, top 14. It stayed on track. Yeah. Jesse Love up to six. Corey Heim seventh. Other drivers that made pit stops. Yeah, those guys had to pass 12 cars. 12 to 13 cars to, to get back to where they're at right now. Taylor Gray playing that same strategy to come down pit road, making his first ever start. He's rallied back up to 11th. And you see Bubba Pollard on track behind him. He's had so much thrown at him today, making his first ever start. Great in practice, first driver out in qualifying. Such a difficult chore. He has to come from the back, Ballard, but yeah. stayed on the that lead 13, lap, kept himself in the game, and a strategy lap. play is going to put him in position for a top 10 here. See Justin Algar and Cole Custer battling each other. They have the same tires, so that could be a battle for later in the race. Uh, I, yeah, I understand that too, Maverick. I thought that for sure. Like, it's not loud. It's too loud. Some noise canceling. Uh, uh, made a little change around the board so you could get a better idea of where everybody's at on I'm tires. I'm sure there's some type uh, of technology Justin going is the, on the there, first car on the enough. oldest tires, and you can see uh, all the way back to the top 20 where everybody's at on tires. And what you're looking for is the guys with the least amount of laps on their tires. They're the ones who are going to be running up to the field here through the course of this run. See Jesse Love, one of those that made a pit stop coming down 20 laps ago. And this is Pollard's able to very get first to the outside start of Cole Custer here. You see, I mean, for some of them, it's taken a long time to get this Chandler far. Smith, my boy right, 20 picks. laps or so to, to, to pass up there. And it's not like they're blowing their doors off right now either. I mean, they're quite a bit faster, don't get me wrong, but not like seconds faster. But Brad, you brought it up. This is a solid point you brought up, is that, you know, the, the last thing these guys that just put tires on is a caution. So they need to race each other very, very smart, which makes the likeliness of a caution coming out 
not very good anymore, right? Because yes. they're going to be like, man, just, we can't wreck here because our race will be over. So they back it down a notch. They don't, you're not beating each other's doors off and all. It has the feeling right now that this thing could go long. Yes. You know, there, there could be a lot of psychology classes on race car drivers. And, and we talk about this a lot. Uh, but <laughs> and crew chiefs, right? And crew chiefs. But what's really interesting is how the field all kind of gets on board with the strategy and changes the way they're racing when you see situations like this. We saw it a, a few weeks back in the Bristol Cup race when we were running out of tires, and, and the whole field just gets really smooth and slows down and takes care of their tires when they're almost out. Where before that, they ran as hard as they could. So you start to see the drivers adapt to the situation, almost like a school of fish. And they're all adapting at the same time and, and not getting themselves in trouble. It's really, really interesting to see. Your analogies have been incredible. <laughs> you didn't have that have one issues. on your card either, I, did I, you? I, mean, there, wasn't out there. I had to go to my third bingo card to get all this stuff. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> Corey Heim what you're seeing like, here from, from car watching camera? this on camera and watching in the booth, you're seeing that the drivers give each other a little bit more room, Joey. You're seeing all these different things happen because they know they do not want to cause a yellow if they are the ones that have new tires. And to your point, that just changes the dynamics of the race. Now, on the flip side of that, if you're one of those cars that stayed out, well, <laughs> you're really wanting a caution. Yes. Might be the opposite. Joe Gibbs Racing having a great here. day. They've won here at Richmond Al 11 Geyer. times. Chandler Smith leading. Eric Almarola won both stages today. He's second. Good effort for Taylor Gray. Of course, Sheldon Creed had the problems. We talked to him earlier. And when you look at short tracks, I mean, not just here at Richmond, but across the board, Martinsville, Bristol, it really, in recent years, has been all about junior motorsports and Joe Gibbs racing. They've won seven of the last I'm nine here, those Jesse two teams, Love. and 15 of the last 18 overall. And look at the laps led, 3,600 out of the 4,800 run. I mean, it's just complete domination for these two organizations. And they've done it again today when you look at the laps led for Al Marola, Chandler Smith, and Justin Allgaier. It does seem like one of those racetracks. Once you get your head wrapped around how they go yeah. fast around here, whether it's a driver or the, the team with the setup, it, it seems to last forever once yes. you, get, once, once you yep. get it. Corey Heim, not from Joe Gibbs mm -hmm. Racing, but driving a Toyota, and he's been outstanding today. Gets his... Way around Jesse Love. He's now third. See you, Karen. Thank you for hanging out today. Appreciate you. Happy the car's on the well. older tires, we'll to your point, Joey. Have hung on just a little bit better than they thought they, they would. They're, they're almost all outside of the top ten, with the exception of Justin Algar. Bubba Pollard <laughs> into the top ten. Working over Riley Herbst for the 10th position or ninth position, and he gets it. The fresh faces getting it done today at Richmond. Taylor Gray, Bubba Pollard. Never raced Xfinity before this afternoon. Sixth and ninth, both in the top 10. Up, Logan Beard. Going Ran on. his way into the top 10 on those fresher tires at the end of stage two. He's now 26th. We'll go side by side with 41 laps remaining. Smith leads Almirola, Heim, Love, Hill, the top five. It's the NASCAR Xfinity Series from Richmond. All right, so let's go back to the in-car camera. That, that. We'll ride along with Corey Heim in third place, P3, the three Toyotas. Chandler Smith, Eric Amarola, and Corey Heim, three Toyotas, one, two, three right now. We all love the little baby Jesus. Happy Easter, y'all. Justin G says, come on, Deegan, let's go. As we're riding along with Corey Heim here on the commercial break. Keep in that subscribe. We're one away from 10,740. See if we can get there. And we're all about 20 or 33 away from our 200 like stream. See if we can get to 200 likes today on the stream. And no caution. Praying for a caution. She's praying for a caution, Regine is. So we'll see what happens. Thank you for that subscribe. Appreciate that. 10,740. With 10 more now. Let's go to 10 more now to 10,750. So 10 more subscribers to 10,750. And we're moving on up. 
like for me, bro. Thank you, Bruce. Appreciate that, Bruce. Thanks for the like. And Kenneth says, don't forget to set up the streams for tomorrow. They will not. I will not forget. I promise. Uh, coming up tomorrow, we got Tennessee versus Purdue. And t after that, the late night uh, racing. Hopefully we get it in. This to the rain in Richmond tomorrow. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, it's a not till six o'clock. So we'll know something later on in the evening. So if uh, something does happen where it cancels, we'll figure something out for Monday to let you listen in. <clears throat> and then next week, if the Vols make it to the final four, I might have to cover the Vols because I've never, I, I've never uh, seen the Vols in the final four before, and that's history. So uh, next weekend, the trucks is on Friday. Xfinity is at six p.m. from Martinsville on Saturday. And the NASCAR is at 250 on Sunday. But uh, we'll, we'll go from, we'll see how that goes from there. Three laps to go in the Toyota Care 250. It's the NASCAR Xfinity Series racing in Richmond, Virginia with Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano. I'm Adam Alexander, Josh Sims, Regan Smith on pit road. Chandler Smith in charge of the field. His advantage, 1.6 seconds over his teammate Eric Almarola. Here's an interesting fact. Eric Almirola won both stages today. It's the third time it's happened this year. The previous two times, the driver that won the stages, his teammate went on to win the oh, race. No. Mm. It's, it's playing out again, is it not, with Chandler Smith leading the way? Well, still a long ways to go. We don't know how hard Chandler run, ran. We don't know how hard Eric's running. Uh, still, you know, a long ways Pollard. to go. A lot what of traffic run. to work through. And we could get a Close caution. That allows some drivers to pit, and that would change everything. Absolutely. And right now is like prime time. If there's a caution for those guys that stayed out, this is it. Right now is where they want the caution. And it could happen as the leaders get to these lap cars or cars about to go down a lap. They run each other really hard, racing for lucky dogs. Those type of things could cause a caution. Oh, really? Something to watch out for, for sure. I'm but Chandler Smith, I mean, we, we talked about it at the start of the race. This has been a great track for him. He's having a terrific season. Well, they doing would all have the things to he needs make that to do. Uh, this would be, he's already got to win today. on the season, but this would be a statement. If not, they won't. Because they have to give 24 hours notice. Is he making his way through traffic right here? Eric Almarola, 1.3 seconds back. He's kind of hovered around this 1.7, 1.3 range. You see he's made a little bit of time here in this lap traffic that uh, Chandler Smith's in. But Jeb Burton one lap down he would love to get a caution get the free pass this is our celsius onboard camera and jeb's one of those guys on the older tires right so he last pitted at lap 155 where these guys pitted around lap 179 so they got about 24 uh lap fresher tires on the leaders than jeb does yeah here just throttle jockey and that thing on the exit just pedaling her through there That's the challenge of driving one of these cars. And there you saw, Joey, to your point, they're, they're lapping cars, the leaders are, and they're starting to slide around the, not just the leaders, but the lap cars. And this is when trouble can really happen. But well, Jeb Burton wants the caution because he wants yeah, to get Ken, the free pass. His teammate, Parker Retzloff, wants the caution because he's one of those that didn't gonna, pit, has the fresher tires. Notice. He would love to come down and take advantage. Right now, the driver that started on the pole is 13th in the race. Good battle here with Josh Williams. And we've seen this story before, right, Adam? Where it, that caution came out and everyone feels like it's too early and people end the race with a set of tires in the pits. <laughs> it's funny, I was down in the garage earlier today and, and I said, I surveyed everybody. I said, what do you think? 20, 25 Sam laps Bam, into the final stage, you get the caution. The morning, is that when you pit? And every uh, every crew chief I talked to locked up and they're like, I, I want it to be right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Murphy's Law, 25 laps in, you get the caution, it's decision time. And now you have to live with the consequences. Yeah, it's going to start at 6 like Central, knew, Adam. But, <laughs> but it's, it's not over <laughs> till it's over. If they're going to move the race up, they have to do it within, It's 3 Central now. There's Taylor Gray so in the fifth three position. three hours to change it. He's rooting it for this thing to, to stay green. Making his first ever start. And if he can come out and finish fifth, man, what a tremendous job that would be. And we see a green flag pit stop. Cole Custer coming in. So they said, you know what? We're not going to wait on a caution. We're going to come down, get the fresh tires, and try to make it up. Regan? 
Well, Adam Carter them going ahead and pitting right now. Cole was fearful. He had a tire getting ready to come apart. Wasn't 100% certain that it would make it to the end. They ended up having to come to pit road. So in that situation, if you think you might have a problem, you got to go ahead and come and make it happen. Not totally a strategy call, but a safety call for the driver that won the championship last year and is on a ride of top five finishes. And he's still going to make a lot of ground back if the yellow doesn't come out. With these Those new balls, tires, right. he, he, he's going to lose a lap for sure, maybe even two here. We're trying to figure out where he comes back on the racetrack. He had two down, it looks like. Uh, but he's going to make that back really quick. I don't know if he'll get back to where he was running. Uh, but these new tires are going to be a pretty big advantage. We saw this happen last year to Justin Allgaier, where they felt like maybe they had a problem, and so they said, let's just cut our losses, go ahead and make the stop, get the fresher tires, and see what we can make up. And he was going to do an unbelievable job of driving back through the field. Unfortunately for Justin, the caution came out, and it kind of spoiled their play. Here's Seven Radio speaking of Justin Allgaier. Trust the Jeff I agree. I just let you know. Yeah, it's a spotter saying, hey, some cars are starting to pay. He, he's queuing off of Cole Custer when he pitted, not knowing the full story that we heard about him coming in for a uh, possible tire going down. Um, but he does bring up a good point. Remember, we saw this earlier with Sheldon Creed. These guys have not had to run super long on tires. Maybe the tires will start to come apart. Yeah, okay. we're going to be a whole turn one. New uh, for Nashville. into the plan. Yeah, but if, if you're going to pit two under green, you got to give it plenty of time to play out and work, right? And now we're down to 22 yeah, laps to go. laps to re fully recover for sure. Yeah, at this point, you know, if, if you didn't pit under green at this point, you've made your oh, bed. Wow, that's cool. You are banking on a caution Turn late. one's awesome. They added and here comes Cole Custer. He's going to get one of his laps uh, back here. Yeah, this gets him to one lap down as he goes well. around race leader Chandler Smith. Which so, is key. If you're two laps down and the caution comes out, that's that's the death penalty right there. That's that's going to be tough to to be able to recover from two laps down. So Cole Custer right here, yeah, two Legano seconds a lap faster than the leaders. Man, he is just flying through there on those tires. So you know, if if he maintains that, which he's not going to, because the tires are going to fall off, he would go win the race. But the tires will fall off, and it'll go to maybe a half a second to a second faster. Coming up next, it's an MLB opening weekend showdown between two of the most explosive teams in the league as Ronald Acuna Jr. and the Braves take on Bryce Harper and the Phillies right here on FS1 and the Fox Sports app. Looking forward to baseball. Talked a lot about Taylor Gray today up in the top five. He's a big Braves fan, so he'll hop out of the car and check it out here on FS1. The speed difference <laughs> of Cole Custer right now on his new tires is remarkable as he's just blowing by cars. But I, like you said, Brad, I, Not I, enough I'd laps. be interested yep. to see where he gets back to Justin Allgaier, right? Because Justin's staying out. What would the difference be? Five miles per hour difference on that, these tires for Custer over now Chandler. That's everywhere Smith. around the track, he's five miles. That's not just one spot. Right. It's five mile an hour every bit around the racetrack. So that's that's really impressive. Yeah, that's average mile an hour around the racetrack. Taylor Gray continues to work. Jumps in front of fellow rookie Jesse Love. Braves Phillies delayed due to weather. Custer around his teammate. I love our Fox graphics here. They can really compare it. So here's Cole Custer on new tires oh, man, against kid. our leader, Chandler <laughs> oh, Smith. Awesome. And this is what, when we say five mile an hour faster over the course of a lap, this is what it looks like. Oh, dude. Such a great well, representation. Back, let me know. Top okay. left. Custer's coming back Make around sure subscribe, keep trying that to get himself on button. the lead lap. Going by Sammy Smith, who's on the lead lap, scored nine. Sammy right now, a good bit back from race leader Chandler Smith. So Toyota still a lot of ground to make up for Custer. But if it stays green, he's going to pay some dividends on that pit stop, I do believe. Especially if you consider that he could have lost the tire, which would have really taken them out of contention 26th. to have any kind of a finish today. And Chandler Smith, the leader, he's still running really fast. He was at the last lap a tenth or two faster than Eric Almirola. Uh, so 
I guess he didn't burn his tires off when he was getting through that traffic, Joey. Yeah, I guess not. You know, more it, likes. It's always hard for the leader to get through, let's see if we can get to you know, cars that are trying to stay on the lead lap. They're racing them hard. They're trying to stay in the, you know, the lead lap or stay in that lucky dog position. And it shows the speed that Chandler Smith's got in that race car and how good of a job he's done saving his tires because he's doing that and still driving away from Eric Amarola. Goes by A.J. Allmendinger putting him a lap down. That means there's 13 cars on the lead lap as we highlight Bubba Pollard. Bubba's done a good job. You know, jump, we said it, how hard it is to jump into a car like this. And now, you know, to run into the top 10 in your first race, a track that's challenging like Richmond, he's got to be happy about that. So you look at the notable debuts for drivers and tell you what here at Richmond, Ryan Blaney, seventh, Cole Custer, talked about him during our practice qualifying show earlier today, was driving for Junior Motorsports. Noah Gregson was incredible when he came here for the very first time. So I was uh, in that race with Ryan Blaney's debut and he was so impressive. Uh, I left and called Roger Penske and said, uh, yeah, you need to hire this guy. And a few months later, he was driving my truck and had a contract with Roger Petsky. So that goes to show you a good debut race means a lot or can mean a lot. You still get residuals on that? He's no, a NASCAR I, Cup I, champion I'm not, now. But, uh, you know, he, he did the work, not me, but uh, it, it certainly is impressive. Keep hitting that like button as well. Bubba Bauer uh, just keeps working his way forward here up to seven. Yeah, he's been working on Parker Kligerman here for the last 15 laps or so, trying to get that. There's Austin Pollard. Hill right there in finish. front of him. And I think this is just some short track racing right here where he's done a good job at saving his tires. He, these late this model is guys, game. this is it. Because you think about it, they run these 100 lap features that or whatever, like and, and yeah. they got to run the same set of tires the whole time. Yes. So they have to manage their car. And that's where they've gotten better than, I think, some of the... Xfinity guys that don't have to save tires very line. often anymore, and you kind of yep. yes. fall out of that 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 skill set a little bit because you don't do it all the time, and that's where his shining moment Only is twelve through. cars. But think about lap. the contracts, and I, I would tell this to any young racer. You know, last week we were in Coda, and uh, you, you've got these drivers uh, like Shane Bank is we're going to have all that experience of road course racing, big heavy cars and, and stock cars. Uh, and, and really excel at it. And we come to a challenge like Richmond, which is kind of a 180 degree challenge, right? You got to take care of the car, take care of the tires. Having a short track though. racing background can really pay off. And that's what makes it so hard to be a really good NASCAR race car driver. You got to be able to do both. You got to be able to run good on those road courses and, and find that speed and make pace. Uh, and then in these situations, you got to be able to take care of the tires. I mean, there's everything. And then you have mile-and-a-half tracks that are completely different than what we see here in Richmond. Shoot, we used to have dirt on the schedule. We had to figure out how to do that, too. It, it, that's what's to me, as a race car driver, is so attractive about NASCAR racing. Oh, we got a slow car in one and two. Uh-oh. Caution. Haley Deegan Caution. trying to stay out of the way, Deegan. hopefully, for Chandler Smith's sake. That does not Deegan is slow enough, I don't y'all. think she's going to get back, guys. I don't think so, either. I don't think she's going to get back. This might be our yellow. We saw this late last year. I think it was Jeremy Clements who had a problem. Oh, Couldn't no. get all the way back around. It brought out the caution, changed everything. Six to go for Chandler Smith. Oh, it's no going to be really no close power. here. No power. She's going to barely she make, make it on the pit she road. Barely, oh, Chandler Smith is uh, oh, really she smiling. Made it. Chandler Smith, a really big fan of Haley Deegan <laughs> right now, getting yes. back to her pit box so we don't get a wow, caution. Wow, that was a close one, y'all. That would have changed everything uh, dramatically. Like, wow. Algar is like, no, oh, so close. Yes. 17. <laughs> Five remaining in Richmond. Help us get there. Think about Chandler Smith when it comes to Richmond. Two years ago, driving in the Craftsman Truck Series, dominates and wins. Comes back Thank here you, last Cecil. year. Is a rookie so in the Xfinity the Series, driving for Colleg, delivers again, won a stage, led more than 80 laps, and picked up the checkered flag. He's four laps away from going back to back. You guys, he's I lapped to up to 11th Xfinity place right now. Of the year. Uh, that's the pace of that car. Now, I know there's some different strategies, and tires are different, and those type of things. That's why some of these really good uh, cars no are going power. down a lap because they have so many laps under tires. Car. But the point is, he's on rails. Yes, he is. Cole Custer looks like he's going to catch him here in the next few laps to get back on the lead lap. Uh, but a heck of a run for him to drive through the field. 
for third. Two great young drivers, teammates in the truck series. Corey Heim, Taylor Gray. Can't say enough about the job Gray has done here today at Richmond. And these guys right now Thank into this so run, much, they Ken. are We're trying holding to get to on. I mean, really holding on. Two laps to go. Chandler Smith says, I just want to see that white flag. I don't need a caution. Don't need any drama. Don't need a restart. He's lapped all the way up now to, to ninth place. Great. Pollard in sixth. You'll see the white flag this time around. Chandler one Smith lap to it. go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Now, Chandler Smith loves the white flag, but no one loves it more than all these crew chiefs on pit road who decided to pit. Yeah, absolutely. They look like they made the right decision. Richmond's like his second home. It's a Richmond runaway for Chandler Smith. He leads over 70 laps, and in dominating fashion, is going to get his second win of 2024. I picked it right. Buddy, way to fight that. Silo picked it. Did a great job. Picker, you guys are awesome today. Really. They did a good job managing this race. Obviously, a fast race car. A lot of different things could happen, but a very solid day for Chandler Smith. Only Something like I want to note about. Really race. Yeah. Cole Everybody Custer else back That's into why. the top ten right Everybody there. Everybody else just pit. beat Justin Allgaier on the last lap. Justin stayed out. Cole Custer took tires. Kind of fun to watch that play out. Chandler Smith wins it. His teammate Eric Almirola is second. Top three, all from Joe Gibbs Racing. The top four, all Toyotas. It's the seventh time Joe Gibbs Racing has gone one, two, three, and it's the twelfth time the coach has seen one of his drivers pull into victory lane here in the Commonwealth. Corey Heim, great job in fourth. Second best finish for Sam Hunt Racing here at his home track. Jesse Love, the rookie, finishes fifth, his second top five of the year. Bubba Pollard back to sixth in his debut. Good day for Kligerman. Austin Hill has his top five streak in, but he's top ten again. Sammy Smith, and we talked about Cole Custer, complete the top ten. That's a those Toyotas, good man, going to be like that tomorrow as well. When those tires are going to come apart. <laughs> Allgaier just outside the top 10. Josh guys, Williams. All the subs. Thanks for the likes. We're 15 away from today. 200. See if we can do that before you guys leave. Hit that like button for us before we leave out. If you liked what you see and you heard today, make sure you give us a good It's a great course. pairing. Chandler Smith, first year at Joe Gibbs Racing with Jeff Mendering, a veteran crew chief who's had success with I'll so many drivers. Second, I know she can never catch a break, Justin. Third career win for the 21 year old from Talking Rock, Georgia. Back in the Toyota family and back to Victory Lane. Let's hear from him, Josh. Chandler Smith, your first career Xfinity Series win came here at Richmond. You return and you back it up with another one. What can you say about today's performance? Uh, all glory to God, first and foremost. Easter weekend, tomorrow's single most importantly, probably the most important day in, in all of world history. So make sure to be with your family and your kids. If you got kids, uh, speaking of kids, I cannot wait to get and see my kids. Uh, they're here today, my wife, my sons, and I'm, I'm ready to celebrate with them, but never give up, never give up. This car was not good stage one, wasn't good stage two, but uh, we were able to do some strategy there with our Mobile One GR Supra, and this thing was fast as Xfinity Internet then when it counted. What can you say about the statement that this 81 team is making this season? Two wins, top 10 in every single race. You guys are all in one right now. Yeah, uh, 
All glory to God, man. I mean, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be surrounded by all these great men and women at Joe Gibbs Racing. Wouldn't be with the greatest manufacturer, Toyota, back home with them. This is great. I mean, I'm back winning races here consistently on a, on a consistent basis. I think we took over the points lead again today, too. So uh, I'm just blessed. I, I'm beyond blessed. I can't wait to get to Victory Lane, awesome. celebrate with my guys, Kings my wife, down. my kids. Uh, it's going to be a good day, and then get up tomorrow and go to church. Chandler Smith, your winner at Richmond. Eric Almirola comes home in second place today, part of a Joe Gibbs Racing 1-2-3 finish. I know that's not the position you wanted there. What did you lack at the end of that race? Well, we just got a little bit too loose. Um, the run before that in stage two, when I took off, my car was really, really good. And at the end, just built a little bit tight. And that last run, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's a different set of tires or what, but I just, I paced myself. I let Chandler go. And then when I started to try Eight and just creep to go, back to him, to I didn't have anything to go with. I just... I, I was too loose in, and I couldn't get the throttle down on exit. So, hate that to, uh, to win both stages and feel like we had the dominant car, and then to let it slip away there at the end is, is disappointing. But so fun week uh, this weekend, coming back to Richmond 18 years after making my first start for coach, and um, with he gets us on the car on Easter weekend. So, it's uh, it's been amazing to see what God's done in my life over the last 20 years since I got that phone call from coach and JD to to come drive for them and. I really wanted to put this thing in victory lane today uh, for them, but You're welcome. it's going to have to wait. You've been a big part of Joe Gibbs Racing this year about helping the younger guys. I saw you congratulate Taylor Gray as he got over here. What's it mean to see that one, two, three finish as a company? Well, it's huge. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people just don't realize how much work goes into the organization over the off season to, to get it to where it's at. And, you know, to add a whole fourth team uh, to the organization was a huge undertaking. So just really proud of all the men and women back at the shop at Joe Gibbs Racing and everybody for working so hard to get a four team up and going and to have the speed that we've had every single week. Uh, one of our cars can win every single weekend. So it's a lot of fun to come to the racetrack like this and uh, looking forward to Martinsville. Martinsville is going to be a lot of fun. It's been a great racetrack for Joe Gibbs Racing and one of my favorite racetracks. So we'll go there and uh, try and go one spot better than this weekend. Thanks, Eric. Look at our top 10 from today's race. The stat holds true. You sweep the stages, and your teammate gets the trophy. Eric Almirola winning stage one, stage two. Chandler Smith with a win. Chandler Smith average finish this year, 3.3. The same for Austin Hill, who was eight this afternoon. Wow. Another solid day. Austin Hill closes out with the top 10. Cole Custer, we talked about just a minute ago. Great rebound from that tire issue to get to the top 10. Taylor Gray, Corey Heim, Jesse Love, all young drivers who delivered big time on the big stage today. Josh? And in Taylor Gray's debut in the Xfinity Series, comes home with a third place finish. First of all, what was this experience like for you? Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, I can't thank all my Joe Gibbs Racing guys You're enough. Brought me such a fast place. I hope GR Supra, uh, as fast as Xfinity Internet is today. The driver just made too many mistakes to be able to capitalize on such a fast race car. Um, you know, I. Congrats to Chandler for winning the race. It's a really good, uh, really good day for the Gibbs. What did you learn today? We saw the little experience there on pit road, and, and you talk about some mistakes. What can you take away from this as you grow and get better? I mean, a lot of things, right? I mean, you, you saw all the little mistakes I made, and it just shows you, you know, the difference, right? You go from truck racing, and you know your pit road's not as crowded. You're not racing as people as tight off pit road, and Five to and go. you go, you leave pit road, Five and or you come to the Xfinity series, or you come to the series even worse, and you know. You got you're racing people on pit road so much tighter and, and things like that. So I, I need to clean up that on my end. I you know, again apologize to, to the one group in JRM. I obviously that was the last thing I intended was to tear up the race car and ruin their day. So um, again, I apologize to them. But um, you know I, I can't hang my head too low. I mean such a great day for for us. Third place finish for Taylor Gray. Regan. Bubba Pollard comes home comes home sixth wow, in his Xfinity Series here. debut. You told me before the race you'd be happy with 10th to 15th. I got to imagine you're very happy right now. Yeah, we, man, I just got us behind in qualifying there and uh, made for a long day. But these guys give me a good race car. Junior Motorsports, Andrew, uh, TJ did a great job on top of the box. And uh, I needed that green flag run just to kind of uh, get in the rhythm. Uh, it, it, it's, it, this place is tough. It's technical. It's probably one of the tougher places I've been to, and I've been to a lot of places. But, yeah, I mean, if I went to guys behind, I think, you know, we'd have had a top five, and uh, I'm happy with it. it. I enjoyed it. I had fun, Straight and um, hopefully hopefully, them fans uh, enjoyed it too. 
So you enjoyed it. You got some experience Matty, out there. You figured out the tires, the everything you needed to do. to do. It do we get to see you again really in one of these off. as good as that run was? I hope so. I hope, uh, hopefully, we, you know, we can find some sponsorship and uh, maybe go to some different places uh, later on in the year, maybe next year or something. But, yeah, the door's open. If we can have any sponsors jump on board, we'd love to have them. Thanks, Bubba. Nice job. Well, Corey Heim comes home fourth place today. Strong performance from start to finish all around. What can you say about what you guys were able to do? Yeah, just super proud of Sam Hunt Racing. Uh, the Skier and Shira Super was so good throughout the day. Uh, definitely a huge step in the right direction compared to where we've been this year. So I'm um, super grateful for everyone over at that organization and Toyota Racing. Uh, super, super good feeling just to know that we had a car capable of winning today. Uh, I feel like we have a couple things to clean up. I feel like we didn't have the track position at the end, but um, super grateful for everyone involved, and uh, it's good momentum going forward. You got a number of starts under your belt now in the Xfinity Series. What's the biggest growth for you? What's the biggest thing you've learned over this time? Uh, it's just about reps. You know, with the truck, I've got almost like 50 starts now, and it almost feels like second nature hopping in one of those things. But uh, it's sort of a mental reset getting in an Xfinity car and trying to uh, make this thing go as fast as Xfinity 10G. But um, it's definitely a different world out here, and there's a lot of good drivers. So uh, I've got some work to do myself to get there. Strong run for Corey Heim. Jesse Love continues to impress in his rookie season, a fifth place finish today. Jesse, what did you think about this Richmond racetrack and how challenging was it? It was uh, very, very hard. It was uh, kind of whooped my butt there for a while. Um, but man, that restart, I was like, if we're going to go as fast as Xfinity Internet, it's going to be right now, right now, because that was going to be, if it did go green, it was going to mean everything. And it's pretty hard to pass here. So, um, you know, we struggled with our wheel and Chevrolet today, like, no doubt. It wasn't wasn't our best showing but i feel like what's made us really good is taking days where we're flat out just not great and just not giving up and and gambling a little bit and uh and coming out on on you know somewhat better terms than what we could have been so um want to run good for my buddy brent's birthday we're missing I don't our, know what you're our, talking our, our about, guy don john today hope him and his dog are, are doing all right but um but, but man did, i'm looking they? forward to coming back <laughs> and i think we know what to do all different next time because there's definitely other. work to be done but uh, we all get to race for 100 grand next week as you continue to have these good runs, what does that do for your confidence as a rookie when you show up at places that you've never seen before? It's hard, and this has been the hardest place for sure. I'm not, I'm not much for saving tires. My my dirt background isn't very keen to that, so it's hard for me to, to save baseball. tires. And it's just like managing the racetrack, just like managing the golf course. It's so hard, and you got to be so disciplined. And I wasn't the best at it today, um, but I'm going to get better. We're going to get our Chevrolet better, and uh, hopefully, going to come back be even stronger. Thanks, Jesse. Jesse Love told me earlier today when I asked him about being at Richmond for the first time, he said it's kind of like going to math class. It's re really hard, but uh, <laughs> I felt like he went to school and passed the test today. A top five means he's one of the four drivers eligible for the dash for cash next Saturday night at Martinsville. This was the qualifier. It'll be Chandler Smith, Eric Almirola, Jesse Love, and Parker Kligerman going for the $100,000. The hat trick at Richmond for Chandler Smith, two years ago, Craftsman Truck Series. All righty. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Gene, you've said it like six times in a row. I, we, we get it. We get it. Uh, appreciate y'all being here today. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers, all the new members, uh, everybody that's made this stream, these two streams today, all awesome. So, And uh, thank you for your kind words uh, to Spain on her birthday. We do appreciate you there on that, too. Um, so, uh, we'll be done today with racing. We'll hopefully get our race in tomorrow. It's supposed to rain, supposedly, in Richmond tomorrow. So, we'll see how that goes tomorrow night. But look for a, ra a game, a basketball game, tomorrow afternoon around 1 o'clock for the NASCAR, the uh, NCAA basketball Tennessee Volunteers versus the Purdue Boilermakers. Well, let's take a look really quick at the top nine. Now, read, you're looking at all these cars a lap down. Uh, 10 through 24 all pitted and got new tires uh and just all hoping for another caution but they never did uh they would say that all these other guys would have pitted if they would have had another caution but uh all these guys were one lap down cole custer all the way down all these guys pitted and then of course the other ones that wrecked had some engine blown up and all that stuff like that so um not too many in-car cameras to watch today, but congratulations to Chandler Smith. I predicted it in our weekend preview paint scheme video that we release every Friday. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you go check that out. Uh, give us a, a view on that and a like and a comment too. Let me know who your favorite paint scheme was this week. Go check that out for us. So, all right, y'all. 
I will talk to y'all later. Let's go over here to the preview. I want to thank Cecil Hobson as our new member, uh, Robert Gatley and Morgan for being a member as well. Snowman 61 CA, Mark Atterbury, Ka Caitlin Wilcox, Dylan Davis, Traveling Seagull, Pie Wolf, John Slaughter, Teresa Henshaw, all the all subscribers that did stuff today on these NASCAR streams. We appreciate you. I want to thank my Wally wife, who's her birthday today. Happy birthday, baby. Hope you have a good day. And uh, looking forward to tonight having some fun. So, and everything that you do for us while I sit here doing these streams. I don't want to thank my mods for hanging out here. We don't want to have Riff Raff in here, but when we do, you take care of it pretty quickly and don't even have to worry about it. I want to thank you guys for your memberships that you give back to the, your hard-earned money back to the channel. I want to thank you for that as well. And then I want to thank you guys for watching. Just sit and watch it. That's the best you can do. And all the ones that subscribe as well and hit the like button. So, oh, we're almost to 200. Maybe we'll get it in the replays. If you're watching on replay, make sure you hit the like button for this and subscribe to the channel. Uh, looks like Phillies and Braves were delayed. They're six minutes for the first pitch. So maybe I'll get a discord going over there. So until then, y'all, we will see y'all later and have a great, great day. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night for some NASCAR. Happy Easter if I don't see you guys. We'll see y'all later. Peace.